Ah. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, right. Duh. Hello. I live. Welcome back to Tales of Arise. Uh, we're in a big thing. They called it the Wedge. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I decided to try this way to do tie at all. I know. Time is a valuable thing. Watch five eyes of many with legs. Watch it hang up. Do the other day to collect a side blade. It's so unreal. You didn't look out below. Watch time go right out the window. Try to hold on, but didn't even know you wasted it all. Anyway, we're, we're climbing. I don't know. It's maybe alive. Apparently. What the fuck? Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna punch these. No, I'm not. Fuck you. Ha ha ha, idiots. Twin worlds. All, all of it. Are you saying the Renans are funneling it through here to send to Lenigus? Sure looks like it. We have to put a stop to it, quickly. Are we at the end of the game? Are we halfway through? I don't know. Blooming Roper. Will it? What if I just kill it? Probably weak to fire, right? Ah! Looks like you came to my rescue again. You need to be careful with the blazing sword and with the. Oh, it dropped. Stop having a moment while I kill these things. Xenoblade like 3, were you in the game at level 50? Uh, I'm level... I don't know, 34? So, it might even be that high. I feel like 50 is pretty common for me. That sounds pretty... like a pretty high level. Boop. Okay. Uh, some weird wyvern dragon things. Chaotic figure. Just like me, for real, for real. Punch. Die. Rude. I mean, that's just what I say about birds, though. Hammer. Bam. Wow, uh, wow. You know, their, their attack names could be their ship names, too. I feel like that would be kind of fun. Uh, oh, I missed a chance. Thanks. Wow. Like a Ruby did? How did they do that? I don't remember. You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be in this world. Don't worry. I've got your back. This is strange. Like it should be among creatures you'd find in a forest. Cut it out! I don't need to hear that. It's gotta be man-made, right? It's or alive. Itself, it would not be any easier to predict. Remain vigilant. <laughs> Hmm. It's a Grandia moment. Don't worry about it. In this way. Cool. Oh no! I got trapped. I didn't think the wall's hitbox went out that far. Douche. For the record, I said douche just to make a sound effect and wasn't calling it a douche. But I guess that works too. Bow. 
Yo. Nope. Okay. These guys fall too fast. Wow. Oh, the attack animation, like, didn't go away right away. It was hanging out in the background. Ooh. Flaming swing. Yeah, that one works as a ship name. I mean, it implies that they're gay, but, you know, kind of works. Hmm, heavy lifting. Don't get careless. I can lift Don't tell me. two pounds. What are you doing? What? Flaming sword or I can lift two pounds? I feel like it's true for both of those. Actually. Wow. Wow. As impressive as always. Oh, I thought we were done. I was just standing there waiting for the fight to end. Nice. I know fine weapon material when I see it. Are you are you hitting on me? Hmm. Goodbye. Nauri Imeris. She owns ancestor from 300 years ago. This place definitely isn't easy to navigate. That's we've been sure. in worse. I doubt this structure was Have conceived we? with Maybe. the ease of people's movement in mind. Yeah, we've been seeing nothing but Zugal nests. Is this where Zugals come from? It's almost as if we're inside an incredibly immense spirit vessel of some sort. A spirit vessel? If that's the case, then that would make Lenegus the master core that's receiving all the astral energy. Huh. Hey, have you heard that? Lenegus is just a giant master here? core? Oh, so now you believe me. <laughs> I never said I didn't believe you. Got him. Get him. The further in we go, the stronger the voice gets. Is that a sign we're going the right way then? Where's this voice coming from? Can you tell? Yeah, kind of. I hear it inside me, but I feel like it's also coming from every direction around us. It's hard to describe. It's almost like it's surrounding me. Surrounding, huh? Dolby surround Considering sound. Considering energy is involved, it's not that unusual. Right, but it's not scary or anything. Listening to it is really soothing. If you hey, some more. Just promise you'll say something if the voice gets too clingy or anything. What does that mean? Are you jealous, Law? He's jealous. Oh. Hmm. I just go backwards. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. What's this? How do I break it? Blazing sword. Sure. That makes enough sense to me. Shit's gonna appear when I grab this. Run. Hey, oh, nope. Never mind. I thought we were gonna get ambushed. Hey, it's the tiger guy. Fuck, Polymentus. Ow, ow, rude ass. Whoa. Oh. 
Oh. Hurricane thrust. Alpin's signature sex move. Bam. Punch. Ah, would you sit still? Fucking Cerberus wannabe. Bow, 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 bow. Shoot him. Ah. Ah. S stand still. Slow the fuck down, you little shit. I need you to calm down, sir. Sir. I will get the manager. Ah! Imagine. Oh, shit. Being in line at like a Starbucks or something, and there's like a rowdy customer, and the manager comes out. And just does like a JRPG. Fucking. Limit break type attack on the guy. Be sick. Oh. Sir, if you don't calm down, I will use Braver. I missed. Hey, yeah. There's people being assholes to pass through workers get their asses handed to them, yeah. But it's like, it plays out like that one, ah, 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 that one video of the guys doing Pick the Kingdom Hearts fight in the snowy parking lot. Kick that cat. How much longer will our healing arts last? Well, you catch a chair mid-air, then just the final slash to cloud as an advent children. Oh, hell yeah. Good shit. Uh, that is a panel. What's it do? The teleporter to the entrance is now active. Well, that is convenient. I'm going in. Thank you. Yay, we're back at the beginning and I can go heal. Where's the door? There it is. Yeah. Someday we'll make one, one, Strider. I guess he's Hispanic now. Uh, someday we'll make Don uh, host a <laughs> uh, Spirits Within thing in his server, and then we can make him host Advent Children. I sure wish we could go on vacation. I suppose it wouldn't hurt for us to unwind a little for once. Why is there just a chest the here? Spare for it, though. A heavy treat. That just sounds sexual. All right, I'm gonna go sleep. Maybe there's a chance we can make some Looks stuff like over here. here in one piece. Wumpy! The Wumpy is real. I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was trying to talk to the, the blacksmith. Thank you. Uh, nope. Oh, wait. We can make the Supreme Feathered Shield. Ricky Sara. Cool. Well, that's something. I'll take it. 
Uh, we can sell some armor while we're here. It's weird that the ar that the weapons can be upgraded to like superior versions themselves, but not the armor. I always love the sound of you hammers banging away. Just kind of assume that it would true for both. I don't know. Uh, buy. Can't really buy much of anything. Uh, sapphire vest would be good for him. Sapphire cloak. Mm -mm. Okay, there is some stuff then. Hmm. Okay, then I'll start with Alfin and I'll go down. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, I don't have enough to buy it for anyone else. No. Now I do. Uh, there you go. Alfin. Just makes me want that, that one thing that people did where they like took the uh Alvin and the Chipmunks like songs and slowed them down. And like a couple of them sound good. Specifically Call Me by Blondie. And I just wanna like I just want that to start playing as we walk into, uh... The final area. We've reached our destination. Cool. Uh... This way? Sovereign Volrin! It moves something. The loads are too quick. Just like me when I have the smacks. Which I don't, to be fair. You sure climbed up a long way, haven't we? Watch your step ahead. With no fencing in place, it would be quite hazardous to fall. Fencing, you say? So it's a sparring match, you're asking for uh hello what is that shiny 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 i can pick up ah I have a bad feeling about this. this guy reminds me oh, of aura battle or dalphine or something I'm going to fucking break you. Actually, grave. Hiya, hiya. We work well together, like a finely timed waltz. Oh, uh, that's adorable. Bane from the Dark Knight Returns. It feels like the a title of like a clickbaity YouTube video. So I still had room to grow. Like when I see videos about One Piece and her Hunter Hunter, and it's like the craziest twist yet. Or something. The end of Crollo Lucifer. Why won't you learn? Why don't you all learn? If you keep asking, we won't get Sonic Adventure 3. <laughs> I don't know the reference. But, you know, they're not wrong. I guess. Where am I going? Oh, not that way. Is that all this was? I think that's all this was. Put it in the videos thing if you want, and I'll watch it later. 
Uh, what? Oh, hello. You're called a dual blades? You don't have blades though. You have like claw fists, but that doesn't really count. I wonder if that's like a weird localization thing. I should see if the wiki has like the Japanese names after I kill this guy. I should look this guy's name up after I kill him. I've always liked the idea of like an RPG where you don't have to fight anyone and you you have to be the one to initiate all the fights. And you have to like walk up to someone and you can choose to talk to them or stuff and one of the options is just fight. To achieve such harmony takes a singular will. Wow. Now kiss. Ah. Guess I misread the landing. It's, do, I, do I really need to go back though? That feels wrong. Okay, I'm going back up. That feels incorrect. But I can't do anything here. Even though it's a very obvious spot to fuck with. Uh, screenshot from Xenoblade 2 where you have to give something to a kid and the two options are give and destroy the child. Fuck yes. That's what I'm talking about. Destroy the child. Alright. Yeah. It's a knock on kid, so it's tiny. <laughs> it's even better. Oh, this guy's got a club and he's screaming. Uh oh. Don't get careless. This reminds me of the fucking uh Asylum Demon from Ow, ow, ow. Ow! You fuckers. From Dark Souls. Yeah. Take that, stupid bitch. Robbing. Oh, I love it when you throw, babe. Ow. 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 Oh, you missed, actually. I don't know why I said ow. Ah. Ah. I missed. How the turns have tabled! Mabel! Oh, we have a table! Punch! These guys are strong. Ah, ah, stop. I kind of like their, like, face thing they got. It's just like a hole with, like, a red eye looking thing in it. Ow. Uh. Ow, ow. Would you stop? Uh, yeah, oh, I tried. Whoa, I tried to dodge. Uh, kill. Ow! Ah! Okay, good. I was, that was because I was lying on the ground. That third one missed. Yo! I tried to dodge and didn't do it. Would you fucking stop? Look sharp! 
Lightning, tiger, blade, meow. Whoa! How? Yeah. I didn't mean to have Alpha do his. I actually meant to have Long do his, but I forgot to hit L2. Nice. They're not so tough when there's only one of them. Uh, I missed my chance. Would you cease? Wow. Looks like it could be worth something. Everything worked out just fine. Where was I going? What's in here? Bloody coat. Like a bloody coat. Uh, who's that for? Uh, uh oh. A dark red long coat worn by assassins the world over who favor it for its coloration, conveniently hiding any pesky blood spray that may get on them. Let me take a look at it. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of feels like an MGS3 thing where it's like, oh, if you wear this. You won't get noticed doing this thing, this specific thing. I always liked the... That's one of my favorite things about, like, games in the series that have different camo. Is... I don't know, I think it's fun having all the different effects. Should I waste CP? Because I don't know when the next teleporter is. I'm not going to worry about it. 3DS Nate camo. Oh man, I love that idea so much. Being able to just like take pictures of stuff. I mean, it's so abusable too. So like, there's no way they didn't realize like how easy it was to just like find it, something that was like close enough and take a picture. Yes. Yeah. The game files, there are test images that are just 100% matched just to judge other images by. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Can I chuke them? Probably not. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, get wrecked, scrubs. You're no match for me. Lucky pebble. I wonder if you emulate Snake 3DS, if there's a way to like get in there and like find those test images and just upload them as camera <laughs> images. So you can, uh, you could guarantee. I'm sure there is. I wouldn't know how to do it, but uh, yeah. Oh fuck! Almost made it. Don't get careless. Don't get Ow! Ow! I'm not fighting you right now, okay? Dragons! Ah! Uh, Dohalim was just like, I thought Dohalim was dead because he was just laying there face down. Ow, 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 
Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ting, ting, whoa, big bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ting, ting, whoa, big bang. Hey. I told which doctor I was in love with you. Uh, no further. Now, I'll be in an We work well together, like a finely timed lock. Uh, definitely, definitely gets bonus points for making references to music stuff he has throughout the game. I'm trying to think who my favorite is actually. I hadn't really put any thought to it. I don't feel like I particularly love any of the crew, sadly. They're all likable, but I don't think I'd call them lovable. Wait, what is that? Uh. Okay. We're not gonna count Hoodle. Toodle gets wrapped up with Runwell, for the record. Uh, let's see. Let me put the shell on real quick before we fight these guys. I'm gonna say my favorite probably is Runwell, though. Hmm. Kind of tough. Honestly, uh, uh, come at me, motherfuckers. Oh, you missed me. Now I just have to get up the ladder before they get to me. Go, 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 Anyway, uh, all right, before we go in, uh, all right, uh, best to, or favorite to least favorite, uh, Renwell, uh, mm, Shion, Law, Kisara, Jokin Lee Malfin. I think I think Alfin's too a little too generic JRPG guy. Not that he's bad, but he doesn't really stand out any. Uh plant thing. Honestly, I also kind of wish he... I know it's a part of the Here? story and the, the themes, but I almost kind of wish he hadn't lost his... Or he hadn't regained his sense of pain, because I feel like that was probably the most interesting thing about him. Yes. All the energy flowing through the wedge comes together and collects here. Oh my god, is this the Biggs? Holy crap, the Biggs is sending huge. energy through the wedge? A central core and a guardian? Once we beat that thing, it'll stop the wedge from taking in any more astral energy, right? It seems we're in for a fight regardless. Well, it's a JRPG. We gotta fight. Stay sharp, everyone. I always felt like that was one of the hardest things to, like, get used to when I started DMing. Was the idea that not everything had to be a big JRPG fight. Apparently uh, not. Five. localized entirely to a 0.6 meter spot we have to hit. It's like shooting WAP rats back home. Oh no. Not the WAP rats. Ah. I should not be getting hit because I fought one of these before and I managed to dodge it. Just fine. I'm just being lazy. Ow. Okay. I want to break a couple of these, but if we break them all, they'll come back, so... 
I might just break the one. Oh my god, guys, you gotta... You can't be, like, having, like, a moment like this during a boss fight, okay? You guys gotta fucking chill the fuck out. Can I not attack the sinner until I get rid of him? Oh, I thought I could. I don't know. Never mind. I guess I have to take them out. Ah! Shooting like acid. Power washed acid. The game, it forcibly opens up my copy of Power Wash Simulator and I have to like clean out an entire map before I can continue the boss fight. Oh god, Alvin, run! Magic Zam. I know, one hand. Fuck you. Ah! Punch that bitch. Cool. I just realized we're actually doing damage now. Oh god. Oh god. Get it. Not today. Get it. Get it. Get it. Ow. One down. Two down. Oh shit, I didn't realize we had two down. Oh my god, guys. What did you guys just get so useful and powerful? Thank you. I mean, what? Oh, he's summoning fuckers. Of course he is. Oh, he's summoning, uh, oh, he's summoning three. Oh, great. I'll take care of this guy. Whoa! I should rewatch Golden Boy. I don't know why, I just remembered it, but I haven't seen it in a while. Bow, 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 bow. Anyone here who hasn't seen Golden Boy or Golden Boy Kintaro, it's sometimes called. Kintaro? I can't remember. That likes or doesn't find... I guess pre preferably you would like etchy humor, but if you do like that kind of thing, pretty good. It's only like five episodes. It's one of those, like, older anime where the dub is, like, kind of awkward, but in a way that, like, kind of feels like it's on purpose, because it feels like it just makes it funnier. Uh, why is, why is there so much, like, romance development happening in this, this fucking plant boss fight? Is this really the time? We're just like bouncing around the map, swinging and shooting and shit, and then Alfin and Shion just keep looking at each other and blushing. Uru. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Love is in the air, I guess so. Leave it to Wedge to get everyone hot and bothered, I guess. 
Ow. So weak. Quit pushing yourself and get behind us. I'll be right as rain in no time. Uh, new. Wrong, it's fungal spermatocytes. Oh no. Well, hopefully that doesn't cause any health problems. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Alexi, calm down. Oh my God, the light that blinds. Ripwell, it's too dangerous. Stay back. Don't go into the light. She went into the light. Rip. It's so Jover Bros. Is she gonna summon? Or at the very least, the closest thing that we have to summoning in this game. We. I hope it's Gnome. Uh, that'd be the best. Oh. oh no. We sealed her in the spirit or the sacred realm. I like how they're just like, it's just their models being like rotated around. They're not like flailing or anything. Mm -hmm. Are we speaking to the spirit of Dana right now? Me protecting my enemies and plunder as they're powerless against me. Uh, that's basically just the next bit of homestock that we're going to get to once Dawn's back. In such a manly man, he's only crying like one tear from each. Oh, Dohalim didn't even cry. I'm not sure I call it a voice, but it was there. He's just a little watery eyed. What in the world just happened? We now have an official tier list of who the biggest and crybabies are in the team. was Dana's astral energy we just encountered. Oh, and we're going to be and I think fucked. what we heard might Another have been Leia. You're saying astral energy has a mind of its own? I haven't the slightest idea. But do you remember what happened when we fought Balsef back in Calaglia? You mean when that fire monster came out of the spirit vessel? Ball man? Exactly. Ball sack man? There was such a huge overflow of astral energy. It caused a monster to spawn and take physical form. Mm -hmm. Maybe the same thing happened here, just with way more astral energy and a bigger monster. Does that mean if you gather enough astral energy, it can become sentient or take a physical form? That's what I'm guessing, but it's just yes. speculation. Master cores are able I'm to surprised it wasn't a more relevant thing but up until now, considering it like got introduced in boss fight one. That being said, there may be a mechanism of sorts inside master cores and spirit vessels that prevent such reactions. That fire monster. I remember how it only appeared after Balsef's spirit vessel broke. True. And the reason Rinwell was able to sense all that astral energy earlier must have been because it was too much for that Zoogle to contain by itself. Mm. So then where do you think the Zoogle went? All that energy, the heaven. Poof, it's gone. The Zoogle with it. Doesn't that sound weird to anyone? Now he's up in heaven. Indeed now he's up in heaven. However, in order for us to move our hypothesis forward, 
We will need to gather more evidence first. On that note, how are you holding up, Rinwell? I just can't work out why. Why the voice reached out to me first. Mm hmm. Rinwell? Because you're like a I magic can't lady. I wonder if it's because of my heritage that I was the one to hear it. S sorry. That's a strange thing to think, isn't it? Not, anyway, is it? Going, right? I feel like it's the we logical sure thing the to think. Actually stopped. <laughs> anyway, now that we know that Rinwell is the biggest crybaby on the team, I think she would get high and watch like a, some kids show like Bluey or Ruby and Max and cry over literally nothing. <laughs> Like, nothing sad is happening, but she just starts bawling. She had one too many edibles. Or fucking watch If last night? Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Okay, cool. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Don't, anyway, with five sixty. Yeah. Hmm. Four eighty. Four forty. Uh, six twenty, six hundred, four eighty. Uh, do I have everything available for Renwell? Oh no, I have everything available that I can afford. I was gonna say. 560, 600, 560, 600. Cool. Are we gonna have to take this winding path all the way back down to Wait, yeah. I didn't do Kisara, hold on. Uh 600. Anything, it should be easier than the climb up. Really? Well then, actually, I've heard it's easier to develop muscle aches when going down. Ooh. Seriously? My astral arts are coming along quite nicely. Coming along? What do you want to do with that? Oh, you know, sprout flowers from the tip of my staff, suspended in midair. So you want to be a street magician then? <laughs> Everything all right? Kind of looked like you wanted to get something off your chest. Uh huh. Oh, um. Or not, you know, whatever. Oh, stop looking at her chest. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. Sorry, never mind. Just forget it. <sighs> you want to try being a little less cryptic, maybe? <laughs> oh my God, Hoodle, calm yeah, down. All right, all right. Geez, sorry for taking an interest. Stop it! It's okay, Hoodle. Sorry, I guess I still don't really know how to put it into words. Nah, that's fine. No rush. It might help you to talk about it, though. I'll keep that in mind. And thanks. Cool. All right, I'm probably gonna have to fight these guys. Yep. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Arminus Bose and Arminus Eku Ekus. So he's a horse. Ow! Don't, don't hit me during someone else's thing. That's rude. Ah! Ba ba ba! Die! 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 Ow! Fuck. Or forever hold your peace. Oh! Start seeing every pony ironically, and nothing can't stop. Oh no. Ah, 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 ah! I don't have Kisara's thing! Whoa. 
I've definitely, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I've definitely had stuff that I started saying ironically. But I don't really do that in anymore. Ah, ah, okay. Now I have Kisara charged, but... They're not doing their charge, so it doesn't matter. Ow! Oh. Really? Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip! Ah, don't hit me when I'm in the air, you fucker. <laughs> you think Renwo would be the most likely in the group to like and ship his magic? Or do you think it would be someone else? I feel like Dohalim is the type that like watches a show and is always able to find some like really deep symbolic meaning and like seemingly simple things. You know the type I'm talking about. They always make them their uh, uh, video essays. Hiya! Hiya! Bow, 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 wow. Oh. Why'd you heal me? To stop you dying? Look at unironic the catcher in the rye for a while. Oh no. Dohalim does kind of strike me as the type where like every other book he reads just becomes his new favorite book. For like a week after he finishes it. Oh no. I don't think Alfin would read. I think he would feel like it was kind of a waste of time to read like long books. I I think I'm getting stronger. And I don't think Law has the attention span to read a book. But I feel like he wouldn't want to admit that either. Fuck. This won't be easy. Don't be such a pessimist. Ah! Uh. Can't get out of play. It's like trying to keep up with a wolf. Come one, come on. That is true. We don't know about Val... Well, no, he's got his memories back. But yeah, I guess he was like a warrior slave even before he was a regular slave. So maybe you're right. This is bad, right? Yes, Alvin. Very bad. Yeah, we, he may not be able to read. I don't know. I can't remember if we've actually seen him read or not. He definitely probably wouldn't have been able to before getting his memories back. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, I don't imagine he would have needed to be able to read as a slave anyway. Flames in my technique. We're stronger together than we are apart. Doholim's fighting style is. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No. Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. 
And he's not just skilled with a staff either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me. But my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Mm -hmm. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? Exactly. To avoid unnecessary movements? No. Uh -huh. I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Huh. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess that's why. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Then, it'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue. Mm. <sighs> Alright, Dohoim. Don't get weird on me. Oh! <laughs> Missed. Tee hee hee. He's got the I die, I die retirement plan, yeah. Can I dodge these guys a second time? Man, too easy. <laughs> Hexbreaker. He gets hit, he does the hide the pain, Harold face. Uh. You guys should keep moving. I don't have to waste any more arm shells and stuff. Mm. Nice. Okay. We did it. I win. We're basically there. Ignore all the guys, I still have to dodge. Dodging everything is its own sort of game in a way. I don't know if I can dodge this one. This one's gonna be tough. I got an idea. Come on. Nailed it. Oh. Okay. Phew. All right, let's go. Yeah. And we did it. Cool. Once we do outside. Okay. Let's get out of here. It looks like that beam of light has stopped. Well, that's good. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy, though. Thank God. We can just keep it playing Morrowind like God intended. You can tell? Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, don't they? And you said you heard that voice, right? I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I don't feel bad, though. Hmm. 
<laughs> if trace amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. What do you suggest? We bring it down piece by piece? I yeah, believe it's only really good if you go for a What's pure that, combat build. What do we do then? <laughs> We go to Lenigus. Whoa! Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, it'd only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down to going to the moon. This planet without a fight. Classic JRPG fashion. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. Its circumstances still have yet to be truly resolved. Mm -hmm. But how do we even get to Lenigus? Jump. What if we hotwire one of their starships? There's got to be one of them in somewhere, right? Does anyone know how to do that? Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Otherwise, they remain on Lenigus. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to build a starship. And even if we found a Renin who'd help, who knows how long that'd take. Yeah, waiting for a starship to come down from Lenigus would probably be quicker than that. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, Alfie, when you came down from Lenigus, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Uh. Oh, of course. Can we fix up a 300-year-old starship? That was 300 years ago. There's no way it's still gonna work. But Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. True. That means it had to have still been functioning that whole time to keep his body preserved. You got Indeed. me there. You wouldn't happen to remember where you landed, would you? My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy, but I do know. Probably in Calaglia. So chances are it's still in the area. At least it's a place to start. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground. So I should be able to get us some help finding her. Hell yeah. <sighs> Going home. This is it. Yeah. As long as Lenigus stands there, there's no Is this it? Are we actually so at the end? It really doesn't feel like we are. <laughs> My buddy Nate. If anyone there knows something, I figure it's him. But first, we need to catch a boat and get back to the mainland. Like, even, even if the next stream is the end, it still feels fast. Our first port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> you okay? You don't look so good. Uh, I think I'm just a little seasick. I think how long the beat said like 40 hours. Liar. Huh? <clears throat> you heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Xion. She's got a point. You try Excuse to do it all the time, just but you're bad you... at it. <sighs> no. You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is it about Alfin? No, not just him. How long to be? It says 41 hours. Something you can't talk about? Renwell, I'm... I'm not like the rest of you. Of course you are! Mm. <sighs> no, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. Yeah. But now I know that isn't true. You, you were a little the same, Xion. quick to make assumptions. We're, more ways than you know. we're not so different, you and I. <laughs> if any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. Mm. So, 
here I am. Girls night. Sorry. If anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. But what if want I do? To go? I didn't say that. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Thanks, Mom. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me, too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys. I promise. I mean, that is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> yeah. I said this to Alfin, and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Renwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> my battle with this ship continues. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. I feel like you, Sarah. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into. Still, if that's true, then it's all the more reason I have to do this. Yeah. I think it's safe to rest here now. Everything will turn out fine. Don't worry about it. What could possibly go wrong? All right. Something is definitely up with Xion. Mm. Yeah, something big by the looks of it. I've never seen her so serious. So, do you think we should say something to Alfin then? I was wondering the same thing myself, but then it occurred to me. Hmm? Mm. Whatever this thing on her mind is, it's probably the last thing in the world she wants people to know about. <sighs> if she's trying this hard to keep it secret, then it's not really our place to go telling people before she's ready. Fair enough. I can't tell them. There's... There's just no way I could, right? I... What am I supposed to do? Mm. <laughs> I'm sure we'll figure out what it is later. All right. Uh. To the end. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Let's sleep and then take a break. And then we'll go looking around for that starship troopers. Two. What the fuck? Can I do that again? Oh, wait. Oh. Hold on. I was like. Oh. Hold on. Wait, I maybe have to be on this thing. No, come on. Where was it? Oh, it was like a perfect spot on the... Ah, uh, I can't do it again. Anyway. Alright, fear me. Oh, wait, right. Go.
Let's go. We're out. The Crimson Crows. Ah, oh, Calaglia. Feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Zephyr with us too? Mm -hmm. Dad. Hey, chin up. This is your hometown. Taru. Everyone around here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say. It feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah. Yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was... Law? <sighs> Something bothering you, Law? I wonder uh, what it could be. I'll be fine. It's just, you know... It still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... Uh, I should have been here. Hmm. I don't know, you were out doing some pretty important shit. What's up, just Broski? And it all falls on my head too. Hey, Nath. Hey. What? Can't you see I'm Alfin? No, I'm Alfin. Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Ren and Rule, I'm up to my ears and Dan in disputes. And then, to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure yeah. we heard this somewhere before. But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any mm. around these parts, would you? A starship? What do you need one of those for? To fucking fly to space, nerd. What to else? To Lenigus. Lenigus? Are you out of your damn mind? Yes, now tell me where the ship is. Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. Oh, well, I believe it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Trooper. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, we've got stacks of old records. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah, okay. Cool. Thanks, Nath. That's easy. I read through all of the records, but I only found a single line that might point to what we're looking for. It mentions a hmm. rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? I think Renwell does that know. thing where there was nothing you else in the records read like two lines close. at once when you're speed reading. It looked like it was someplace called Berg, but maybe I'm reading it Berg? wrong. Berg? Berg. That ring any bells for you? Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. Hmm. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Another meteor in the same area? Really? I wonder if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. All the more reason to check it out. Possibly. Can you tell us how to get there? The old Zion mine is up that way. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Go ahead and use that. Cool. Very convenient. But you should be careful. Should I? Huh? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor. But there's a giant zoogle running riot in there. Never seen anything like it. As soon as I caught sight of the thing, so I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. What? Hello, yes. Good law, aren't you Zephyr's kid? Damn, when did you get so tall? Can't believe a little pipsqueak like you is running around with the blazing sword himself. I'm sure your old man will be All proud. Right. Go on ahead without me. I'll catch up later. You got it, boss. <laughs> there a gift target rip. There. Oh, was it uh, Cowboys from Hell? I don't even remember, actually. I guess... Uh, that guy remembers you, but you don't remember him. I know that feeling. See? I'm the reason my dad's gone, remember? You know how much they looked up to him here. 
Oh, sorry for getting a sidetrack. Let's just head out. Right. Cool. I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well, we have to press on. Better, 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 uh, Hoodle's plumage. Everything okay with Hoodle, Rinwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. That is understandable. Galaglians born and raised here struggle with it too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He yeah. Was born in a winter wonderland. Did you just figure that out? Actually, Dan and Owls absorb oh, the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance. I forgot at all. that she did mention that before, that's actually. Not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. Yeah. You mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. Color is he gonna with be all with this traveling we've been doing? It wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like, like a fucking cubivore. I think he suits his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors? And his stomach and sides, like a map of our travels! <laughs> After looking at chicken and chicks, like, holy so shit. Yeah. You've only yourself to blame for that one. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. Fascinating. An appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. <laughs> Dohalim, I think you've drawn his attention. Hoodle's on a fucking rant. Hoodle's hitting that, like, his uh, rebellious years, apparently, because he just keeps attacking people. Mainly law, to be fair. Uh, where are we going? There. What's the nearest fast travel point? There. We should be able to cook here. I'll sleep here just to see if we can get a convo with out of anyone. I think I'll read my book a little more. Okay. Uh everybody, holy shit. Uh Hmm. I'm gonna pick a random, hold on. Uh all right. Bam. Law it is. Mind if I join you, Law? Hey Law, about what you said before. When? You were telling me how there were things you wished you could have asked your dad. If you want, you can always come to me with your questions. What brought this on all of a sudden? Don't I already lean on you enough as it is? Still, there's plenty you would want to ask him if he was still alive, right? I mean, yeah, but... I think you'll have a hard time answering any of them, if I'm being honest. Uh, how come? I mean... Gonna I was I'm just gonna say the same is, thing. Like, how we met my mom, uh -huh. how we won her over, stuff like that. Oh... Uh -huh. Anyway, not really something you can help with, right? You're right. Sorry, Law. I can't even begin to imagine how to help with we that. We weren't too far off, to be fair. You're telling me. I just wish there was someone experienced I could ask about this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. He was definitely that. See you guys We're now tomorrow. closer to Law. You guys ready to hit the road? I know I am. Here we go. Excuse me. The climate feels different from Menencia's. 
It's gotten much cooler since leaving town, though. Does that mean eyes were burning holes in us? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Hey. Uh, you see, law. Sometimes a bird seeds. Something feels odd here. A really Be on your guard. delicious looking bee. I, I don't know. I've never had sex. I'm sorry. <laughs> So we're back in the Zion Mine Tunnels. Who would have thought we'd be going through this place again? This is where you and I first fought together. And also the first time we touched, as I recall. Ooh. Because every time we touch, yes. I get this feeling. Yeah. Shion remembers the first time we touched. Tee hee hee. That's the cell we were in, I'm pretty sure. So this path is supposed to take us out to Berg Volcano? We're not gonna see any lava burst out in front of us or anything, are we? Don't get so paranoid you let a rock fall on your head, Law. Huh. It's gonna be like climbing Death Mountain in Ocarina. Just uh, walk backwards and you'll be faster than the rocks. Mickey, look out! <laughs> oh no. You got another goofy death moment. Berg volcano. Uh, Barry, uh, put Bergy on screen. <laughs> uh, so hot. Well, yeah, we've reached the inner portion of Berg volcano. We need. Uh oh, oops. Uh, yeah, she would. Oh, I was gonna comment on how these vines are like gone, but apparently Dohalim can make them grow back now. Cool. You can Yay! What if we use this for fruits and vegetables? <laughs> yeah, it would be exactly be the same. Fertilizer. Thank you very much. Don't touch me. You little shit. Oh. Mm. Ah, my face is starting to sting. And my throat feels super parched. Yeah, we should probably stay hydrated. Here, have some water. Just make sure you don't drink too much. Thanks. You want some too, Shion? Oh, wait. I bet you're hungry more than anything, aren't you? I'm fine, thank you very much. <laughs> that laugh I just did reminds me that we have some just friends being made right now. And it's going to be very cool and epic. Still in the early phases, though, so it'll be a minute. Did we just do a circle? Am I... Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess we have a little shortcut, I guess. Knowing that any errant pixel on any just, just friends are hard to see you. Okay. We'll do. Uh, forward march. Oh, uh, hello. When uh, up here, and then whoa, what's that? Ah! Rock Madillo. Law, punch him. Bow, 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 bow. Yes, the rocks are at skin, Law. It's not the first time we fought fuckers like this. 
the dark we're just doing Kyrie she's part of the dark now she doesn't need the light punch killing the fire guy with fire I like it Oh, yo! I tried to dodge to be cool, but I fucked it up. Oh, nice fucking belly flop, dude. Fire! This could be useful. Eight thousand eight hundred gold. Neat. This looks like the way. I'm going to drop. Oh wait, I'm gonna drop. Rocks melt before our eyes. It is a little crazy, Once isn't going, it? Everyone. If you fall, there will be nothing left of you. Exactly. True. So don't you will die. Funny. I'm sorry. You, Law. No pushing anyone, not even as a joke. But I'm not a little kid. <laughs> he says, like, halfway through, about to push Renwell. That sort of trick up your sleeve, Dohalim. I would have figured rocks and plants would be too different for you to handle both. Not necessarily. Both of them contain Earth astral energy. Mm -hmm. Luckily for me, this area is rich not only in fire energy, but Earth as well. Sweet. Absolute. Absolute protection for absolute peace of mind. That was the design ethos for this defensive gear layered with chainmail, light armor, and plating. This Capri Sun with like three holes poked on the top. <laughs> uh, or he does that thing where it's like upside down because he couldn't get it through the top, so he just like stuck it through the bottom. Ooh. What is this? Huh, neat. I'm waiting to see if I'm gonna sneeze or not. I don't think I am, I think it's gone. Anyway, I could see, like, Law having trouble and Kisara just, like, snatching it out of his hand and doing it for him. Oh, a healing thing. Are we already at the boss? That was fast. We're right at maybe the mini boss. Oh god, we're gonna have to fight Jafar. Whoa! Big man! The big man has the rock. Oh. What the hell is that thing? Probably that monster Nath warned us about, if I had to guess. Do you think this might have been where one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed? Maybe. But why this location? If the purpose of the is wedge this is to Dana's astral energy. We can figure that out later. If that thing gets into town, it's going to cause chaos. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go! Chaos control. Efri, mm, oh, it's Efri. I called it. Let's go. Come at me, you motherfucker! Oh, he also looks just like a, like a rock version of the big fire dude we fought. Suddenly turning tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. Why? Are you scared? Me? <laughs> Are you? Do you even have to ask? Uh oh. Uh, 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 
Oh, okay. Punch it, Law. Always every malum. When we get every femaleum. You're so right. Ah, oh, he's shooting fucking laser beams. Uh, Stop whatever you're doing. Uh, cool. Okay. Dodge. Burn well. Okay. I'm gonna say, don't just stand there and get hit, please. Razor Leaf. Damn it. I didn't get him. Would you... Oh, God. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away! One array! One, one array. Got him. Punch him! Ooh, slash him! Ooh, kiss him. Oh. Away from the fucking punchy hands. And now he's gonna barf lava? Oh no, he's doing the laser beam. But destruction is actually really good right now. In fact, Get oh god, he's gonna punch again. Run away, run away, run! Ah. Where's his core? Ah, ah, ah! Laser beam! Uh, Shion, don't get fucking destroyed by a laser beam, please. Can you feel it? Oh! Mystic Art! Bow! Uh, what are you doing? Punching? I'm just gonna stand here. Ooh. Bop, 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 bow. Nope. Ow. Shion is. Do not die. I forbid it. As your father, I expressly forbid it. Yeah. Uh. There you go. I'm gonna heal you. Now, what are you doing? How many more fuckers? Oh, great. My favorite. Fuckers. You guys know how I feel about those guys. Hmm. Okay, I should run before he fucking eats my ass. Ah! 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 Would you fucking cease? No, it's not. We're gonna win. Don't be a pessimist, Philhalim. Oh, 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 I didn't like that. 
Smash it! Oh, you guys gotta really pick better times to have these moments. God, I feel like I'm fucking... Playing Shangri-La. All this dodging I gotta do. Oh, Shion is dead. Fuck. Wake yourself, woman. There we go. Okay, well that's two, two rounds down. What's next? Probably some bullshit. Oh, good. My favorite. The com the Wombo Combo Team. I'm going to take out the little guys, because they're going to be really annoying. Ah, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, please stop being dead. You too. Oh, don't die in the first place. Ugh. I'm gonna have to take care of Rinwell myself, I guess. Oh, we are out of CP. That's the problem. Oh, joy. She don't get up. Uh, what? Swap these two for now. We're going to worry about resing later. Oh, she doesn't. Oh, my God. Ow. Uh, it is pretty cool. I will agree. Kill. Nice. Punch it, Law. Well, stay away, stay away, stay away. Okay, shoot him. Okay, finish him off, Alfin. Or close enough. Alright, kill the other caster real quick. Ah, ow! Mm. Oh. Come on. There we go. All right, one dude left. Shoot. Sword. 
cast. Mega, 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 mega. Ooh. Whoa. It's fine. We got him. this guy DMC this bitch. Hey, let's go. What a fight. Everyone okay? Yeah, I think so. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles. Efrit's going to sue the yeah. pants off of it Santa. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? What indeed? Perhaps a living spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Hmm. Or may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. Could be, could if be. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go. I wonder what the other lights could be. Mundini? Mm, gnome? Secret key. The key to a secret certain door in Calaglia. Simply beholding it makes one wonder what lies beyond the threshold. Okay. I still got a ways to go. Boop. 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 What do you know? Another big fire monster with nothing better to do than get in our way. Classic. I wonder where the rest of those lights ended up landing. Mm -hmm. It looked like they were pretty scattered. If it's not required, well, I'm not going there. Let's just hope none of them are anywhere near a city. An ambush on civilians is the last thing we need. Well, no rest for the wicked, right? Though with one down and three to go, it sounds like our headache is just beginning. I thought you liked the opportunity to flex your muscles. Against those things? It's not like I have a death wish. Besides, we've already got our hands full saving the world. Dying stupidly won't be much help to the cause. Yeah, I guess I can't argue with that logic. Sorry. All right. Can I fast travel out? I can. can you wait. Mm hmm. Oh. That's the door back there. Okay. I thought we had to leave. Anyway. 
Hello, what are you? Awakening pebbles. What about... Oh, that's it. Okay. Neat. Hey, is that it over there? <laughs> Gasp. Oh, merchant. Nope, not what I meant to do. Cool. Uh, hmm. Sapphire vest. Sapphire. Oh. Pop. 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 Uh, sapphire guard. So, mighty guard. Okay. Uh, she. Uh, It's the ship. It's a fancy ship just to send us back here on. Alfin, did you remember something? Mm hmm. No, but I have seen that starship before. So you did remember something. This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenigus. Woo. Sweet. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. That is quite convenient. Damn. I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. Yeah, well, you know. The past meets the present. I really am from a different time and place. Yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah, but you've got I don't know if it now, Alfin. matters much. Not only that, but you've helped out so many people too. Prior to getting your mask Miles off, right. you had no Remo past. Too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. You're a part of this world. Right. Wish I could be. Thanks, you guys. Part of that world. How's it look? It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. How much time are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte. So I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. That's I know. because you're a child. Huh. Oh, but how about we use this time to prepare and gather got supplies him. for the trip? Good idea. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenigus once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before uh -huh. we go. Let's try not to stay away too long. I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead... Or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfred. Oh, uh, you know Works me. me. We're getting on that goddamn ship as soon as I heal. Uh, oh. Here we go. Thingy over there. Cool. Perfect. This looks like a good place for ingredients. Hell yeah. It's funny, isn't it? What is? All this. When we first started this thing, did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenigus? After all, 
This is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have persisted for 300 years. <laughs> Deep down, I knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenigus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you maybe, but you're a Renan. The rest of us can barely even picture what it means to leave. I Dorma. mean, Alfin can. No offense to Shion and Dohalim, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken, and this is no picnic for me either. Remember, our aim is to ensure that both Lenigus and the Renan homeworld leave Dana alone for good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think we'll be able to avoid a fight. Is there no way we can talk them into leaving us alone? Nope. Probably not. The people of Lenigus? Sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Shion and Dohalim, right? And it's not just us. If places like Men and Sia can do it, then why can't because we? Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and natural that Rena reigns over Dana. There are those on Lenigus who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. But these are the same people who fired dan, 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 dan. What happens next is on them. Right. We're not going to sit back and wait for them to oppress us again. Right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman is somewhere on Lenigus. Red Woman. Wherever she is, we should find the Renaissance too. Who made the Red Woman That's red? Right. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. Hey, Wong. Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Huh? Uh, yeah. Hmm. I think it's funny that in promotional screenshots, when we first saw Ada in RE4, some people thought it was going to be clear. Oh shit, Shion, get back here. Stop running off and being uh, emo. Your party disbanded. Lovely. Where'd Shion go? I don't How fucking know. Go off on her own? I found her. It was very easy, in fact. I just had to pan the camera slightly. Shion. Shion. Uh, oh. It's, it's your thorns? But why? Uh oh. Uh oh. That can't be good. Just now I looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? Oh no. That thing Maria had. <laughs> Put the fucking gun down. Out of my way. Shion? Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! <laughs> I won't let you. I mean it. I refuse to let you. I won't tell you again. <laughs> Move or I'll shoot. It's Nids, That's by the way. Case. That's what Maria had. Then go ahead and shoot me! <laughs> You're immune. Uh, defense deficiency syndrome. Or whatever. Do you remember back when I was stabbed by Rolron? Mm hmm. Yeah. I 
thought for sure that he had killed you back there. That wasn't the first time. Mm -hmm. The first time was when I was only a child. After that, no matter how often, I just couldn't die. Mm. Couldn't die? So you're immortal? How's that even? So is she actually the lady from 300 years ago? I believe you, Shiara. But tell me how. How is something like that possible? My thorns. Maybe, I don't know. They're me, but at the same time, not. They're part of me. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why, but my thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. You can't die before your death? When my thorns free themselves, it will be my death. She's fortune from him. She has two. A darkness that swallows up everything until nothing remains. It's a vision of oblivion I can't escape. I want to believe it's all just a bad dream. But no matter what I tell myself, I... I know it's not. Yeah, but you... Wait. The whole reason you... You needed the Renaissance was to get rid of your thorns, right? Mm-hmm. If I burn away what's inside, then what will happen to the rest of me? Good question. Either way you look at it, I'm going to die. But if I am going to die, I figure I can at least take my thorns out with me. That's what I've been after this whole time. Mm. That's why you turned your back on your fellow Reds. Chose to fight with us. It's been a suicide mission from day one. And while we've all been fighting to keep on living, you have been with us fighting desperately to die. That was the plan. But then I met all of you. And I... Before I knew it, I didn't want to die anymore. All right, Alfin. Book that reservation at Applebee's. Don't lose hope yet. We'll find a way to save you. There's still time to. It's pointless. But why? Because the darkness won't just consume me. The truth is, uh -oh. it will consume all of existence as well. It was only a suspicion at first, but ever since the Red Woman triggered my maiden powers, I've been more certain than ever before. It was then that I finally came to realize my powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. But they don't anymore. Not since Lenigus. Mm -hmm. Every day, I feel the thorn's power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. She's a ticking and time bomb. They will consume all existence. Where have we seen this before? By yourself. You planned to find the Renaissance on your own and sacrifice yourself to stop the thorns. But that's... Way too much. When this all began, I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I have to die, but I don't want to. Not now that I have this. I wish we had never met. Then I wouldn't have to feel this way. Alfin? Uh. Living for the sake of dying is no better than being a slave. How can you endure this? Alfin. It's not fair. 
I don't care what anybody says. I won't let it happen. We can fight this. We'll fight until the end together. Isn't that what you said to me before? Yeah. <laughs> should mean that it'll be the end of everything else too Xion what do you want it's your decision ultimately but if you decide not to fight fate I will even if I have to do it alone say it <laughs> no you won't be alone I'll fight as well. Count me in as well. I want to be a force for good, not hate. <laughs> me too. I meant it with all of my heart when I told you before. Neither of you are alone in this at all. You guys. And I, for one, don't believe this venture is without hope. Huh? Xion is the descendant of a maiden from 300 years ago. Mm -hmm. Given the circumstances, it seems very likely that those events have some connection. Oh to God, <laughs> they're playing the OP. The true nature of which I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenigus and uncover the truth of what's unfolding here. Oh shit! I take it you mean we might find a way to fucking get love found Emilia. It's certainly possible, though I suspect the nature Hell of the yeah. sovereign is connected somehow. So be it. Let's fucking go. I've already lost everything I had once. And I won't let it happen again. Xion. No matter what happens from now on, we're right here with you. All of us are. You are not alone. Yeah. You guys, you're all so stubborn. Thank you, everyone. For right now, we did it. In a little while longer. I just want to hold on to this dream. And most of all, more than anything else, I want to be with all of you. Yes. So let's go. On to Lenicus. Yay. Te amo a la familia. Let's fucking go. The end of the world. It's hard to believe, isn't it? I believe Shion is telling the truth. What about you? As a friend, yes, I want to believe her. Everything that's happened seems to point towards some sort of great danger that's lurking ahead of us. Mm. Still, it's hard to fathom something that could usher outright doom to the world. That those really are the stakes we face. No, I understand. Even Xion doesn't seem to know exactly what will happen to bring it all about. We have so many pieces of the puzzle in our hands. So many clues. Yet the complete picture eludes us. So where do her thorns fit in then? Well, I imagine they must sit at the very center of it all. You remember the voice we all heard while we were inside mm -hmm. the wedge, don't you? Yeah, I remember. It was the will of Dana's astral energy come to life. Well, that's what we all thought. Right. And from that, we're able to hypothesize how vast concentrations of astral energy can become sentient. Let's return to when we found Xion in Pelegian, when her thorns went wild. They contained far more astral energy than any mere remnant sure. have inside them. So you think those thorns might be alive too? 
that their will is what keeps her from dying? But why would they want to destroy the entire world? As for that, I really cannot say for certain. Its goals still remain a mystery. It may be a mere fluke that her maiden powers have been able to contain it thus far. Mm -hmm. You know, I've noticed since we've met that you like figuring out riddles. <laughs> Can you blame me? When one realizes that the world they once thought to be true is but a mere facade, they can't help but seek the truth. Especially when that deception has led to others getting hurt. Dohalim? I imagine the remaining pieces of the puzzle that we seek rest somewhere within Lenigus. As for what the final picture will look like, who can say? I think it's best we not dwell on it too much for the time being. Right. Sick. Alright. Who's next? Who's getting a fucking talk next? You! Mommy! How are you holding up? Who, me? Yes, you. You took a hit from those thorns again, didn't you? Oh, that? That was nothing. Compared to what Xion's going through, you mean? Still, even if you yourself might be willing to endure that kind of pain, that doesn't mean Xion wants to have to see you get hurt by her thorns, you know? <sighs> yeah, I know. I'll be careful. <laughs> Xion doesn't know how lucky she is to have you around, you know? Dashing in to save her at the last minute. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very knock funny. on. I'm being serious. Her wild bunch. You went up and held her close like you still had that mask on. And you didn't even bat an eye. She really needed that. That's what I mean when I said you saved her. Just like you did with the rest of us. I just want for Xion what we all have. The ability to touch someone without the fear of killing them. Mm -hmm. Those thorns have robbed her of the kind of everyday things we all take for granted. And it's not right. You can say that again. It may be normal for us, but that doesn't make it any less special or important for her. I hope she gets what she wants. I have my own dreams, but a world without her, where she dies so we can all survive, isn't a world I want to live in. She had a dream. <laughs> it's like more and more keeps getting taken from her, and I'm done with it. Mm -hmm. Law, Renwell, you. Can't sleep? After everything we just heard? How could I? Fair enough. Xion's had to deal with so much on her own. Even when we were all laughing and celebrating, she just kept quiet and didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. I thought she was keeping her distance because of her thorns. That it was because she didn't want to hurt anybody by getting too close. I just figured literal that that and metaphorical thorns. Was, you know? But it turned out to be none of that. All this time, she felt like she had to die and sacrifice herself for the greater good. But even then, she didn't think she could say anything to us about it. I know. She was so alone this entire time. How could I call her a friend and yet be so completely blind to everything she was going through? I'm sure it made her happy, knowing you were there for her. You really think so? Yeah, I do. If she didn't think of us as friends, I don't think she could have ever opened up to us like that. You were a good friend to her before, and you'll be an even better one now. Yeah, I really hope so. I want to be the best I can for her. When you think about it, we were all alone in our own way. But over time, we've all found ways to let each other into our lives. I hope Xion's able to do that one day That's just the beauty of it all. No, I mean, I hope she's able to do that more. Lots and lots more. I think it'd be really nice if we could all just be there to support each other when it really counts. And forget about our grudges and pain. Rinwell. Forget about your worries and your strife. Hell yes. All right. Let's talk to Law and then we'll take a break. Because then I assume when we go talk to Xion. Oh, wait, Law's the last one. Never mind. I'm going to take a break now. <laughs> uh, before it activates any cutscenes or anything.
All right, BRB, and then we're going to take our found family to the moon.
guy who has only played Grandia 1 and 2. I don't know. This just feels like Grandia. Did you know? You mean about Shion? Yeah. I didn't have the slightest idea. Uh, every once in a while I thought something seemed a little off. Did you know? But I never could have imagined. It's like a completely different world was spinning around me and I couldn't even see it. Thank you. you and me both. I mean, I knew something was bothering her, but I could never quite figure out what it was. You? But you're the one always looking out for her, aren't you? Don't mean I know what That's she's what thinking all the time. But in reality, I didn't understand it all. What I thought was helping and being there for her was actually just driving her into a corner. At least you figured it out in time, though, right? I don't think we're out of the woods yet. But yeah. You're right. We brought her back from the edge, and we're going to stop those thorns from taking her. Mm. No matter what. Yeah, with all of us together, there's nothing we can't handle. Shion, the world, we can save everyone. And I mean it when I say we, Alfin. We. Yeah, I know. No lone wolfing it. Hey, you're the expert on what The Nintendo Wii will save her. Do you think he'd pat me on the back or tell me off? Zephyr, I don't think that he'd have that much to say, to be honest. You're your own man now, Law. And you've already made up your own mind about what you want. I guess he couldn't say anything even if he wanted to. Law. Sorry. I guess those of us amongst the living have enough problems to deal with, don't we? We'll need all our strength to save Shion. I'll probably end up worrying again at some point. But I guess I'll think it over more then. That okay? Yeah, I think it is. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, we do talk to Shion. Well. Cool. Hey, babe. Did you know that in the Game Boy Color version of Azure Dreams, they took out the dating sim elements? Hey, you doing all right? Pretty crazy, right? <laughs> I seem to cause nothing but worry. As much as I try to look like I have things under control, everyone still worries about me. You're not the only one. Hey, do you remember the first time you said I was your friend? Nope. Did you know that at Three Force <laughs> nope. PC98 Games what added those that? dating sims? Sorry, I can't remember. Do you know like 80% of the PC98 That's library okay. are rogue? It came so naturally to you, I'm not surprised you forgot. We should play some sometime. I mean, you know, if I you was want. Different back then. The Danans were not even people to me, and I knew I would always be alone. But in that room with Deadheim, when you called me your friend, it just 
shattered the wall that I'd built up around me. Because until that moment, I'd only seen you as a means to an end. I thought of you as a way to use the blazing sword and to obtain the Renes Alma. But after that day, one time became two. And before I knew it, you'd made a habit of calling me and Dohalim your friends. One, two, three, four, it five. Didn't matter that we were Renans. You cared about us as you would any other people. Then, everyone else started to call me their friend too. To think of me as their friend. Before then, I never even dreamed I could have that. I didn't want to die and lose you all. But I also didn't want to live if it meant you would all die in my place. Shion. But then I realized. I'd only really been thinking of myself that entire time. After saying how I felt and hearing what you all had to say, I finally understood that. I thought she was going to slap him for a sec. It's okay. I'm not planning on dying anymore. Damn, Skippy, you're not. I met too many people along the way who I truly care about to give in now. Yeah. So I'll fight. Just like in Grandia. And for myself, I'll fight against my fate to preserve our future. And I'll win, come hell or high water. <laughs> I don't know how what if we get to, to Linigus and like I won't let the world end because of me there's a changing room with the confederate flag up it's going to be a long hard road ahead Shion our fight won't be over until everyone both Danans and Renans can finally live in peace but I swear I'll be there with you until the very end Thank you. Remember what we learned back in Calaglia? There's no wall so high that we can't break it down. Word. Yeah. I think you may be right about that. We're gonna break that fucking wall. Cool. Everyone well rested? Then let's go. We depart for Lenigus. Yeah. Take off, you damn right. Fucking blasting off again for the first time, even. Well, it's the moment of truth. Hmm. This lady better hold together once we're up in the air. Ma, don't say that. You're going to jinx us. Speaking of which, Alfin, like that he referred to the ship as this lady and then referred to it as Bucket of Bolts. You know, I'm not sure she ever had one. I never really thought about it. I mean, most ships do. Well, after all the trouble we went through to find her, we should give her one, right? I was thinking something like Thaw Knights. Huh? What does that mean? It means owl in the ancient tongue. Literally, the one drawn to the skies. Cool. Well, I was like, I like <laughs> that sounds like Fall Guys. Not sure I'm completely convinced, but well, it's as good a name as any. From now on, she'll be known as the Fall Knights. Okay, people, we have two goals. Having first, we need to get the, the sound make the Renans final fall alone. And then we in your ship name seems like thorns and find a way to save her. Jinxing it. I don't know. All right, then let's go. It's the last thing you want a ship to do. Let's get moving. Do you think Dohalim uses magic to get all the moss and leaves off? Phew. Well, we've got a long way to go. Hey, Shion, you want to come play Dragonite 4 with me on my PC-98? No, I 
I can still hardly believe it. Believe what? I mean, just look at it. The whole of existence crammed inside a tiny frame. Now that you mention um. it, I guess you're right. It does look more like a painting than a living, breathing world. Yeah. From up here, all the struggles we've been through feel so insignificant. Nothing like realizing how small you are to put everything into perspective. Kind of makes the differences between the Renans and the Danans feel pretty small too, huh? I mean, are, there's barely any difference between us, let's be honest. How much longer until we reach Linigus? There are better ways to use your time than napping. We should take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the facilities on board before arrival. Good mm. idea. The starship may end up serving as our base of operations once we're down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think you'll be all right with the controls? You mean the one set to automatic pilot? <laughs> I dare say I'll manage. I'm basically just here to supervise. In that case, she's all yours. Cool. You seem a little different. Different? Like in a bad way different? No, not at all. You seem more driven lately, like you found a zest for life. It suits you. Cool. Zesty and tangy. Is something wrong? No. I was merely thinking how it had been seven years. That's all. <laughs> you mean since you became a lord and left Lenigus? I guess even someone like you can get homesick, huh? I am as prone to sentimentality as any other. Tell me, though. You too have a history with Lenigus. A traumatic one, no less. Yeah. This trip will probably mean facing up to some difficult emotions. Doesn't that frighten you? Well, it is a place where I took the lives of countless people. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it. But I can't keep running forever. The past is what it is. There's no changing that. But the future's what we make it. I see. Dohalim? Forgive me. I was wrong to pry. We have more pressing matters to address. Come back and speak to me when you finish looking around the ship. Okay. Hello, babe. So about Dragonite 4. We'll be going to Lenigus soon. This must feel like a homecoming of sorts to you, huh? Oh my god, she's gonna be the homecoming what queen. Was life on back then? What if Alpha gets voted yeah, homecoming king? Let's just say I don't have many happy memories. I've had thorns my Angel. Life. Earth as Angel. As as they called it treatment. But in truth, they were just using me as a guinea pig for their research. You mean they experimented on you? Yeah. That's right. All I was to them was a riddle to solve. They poked and prodded me, trying to figure out what triggered my thorns or changed the form they took. Day in and day out, every single day, one test after another. I'm still surprised they didn't try to dissect me. The look they gave me whenever one of them touched my skin. How could I forget it? Reeling from the pain, like I was a monster or something. Some existence, huh? A blight on any I touched. Helplessly complicit in their pain. I thought things couldn't get any worse. But then they did. I started to have nightmares. Visions of the coming apocalypse. <sighs> Is it any wonder I lacked a cheery disposition? No. Unable to so much as touch another soul. Loneliness was my best friend. Sure, I survived, but with the knowledge that one day I'd be swallowed up by oblivion. And that's when it hit me. If I was going to die, then it should mean something. If I have to sacrifice myself to save the world, so be it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you relive that. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm in a much better place now. And now you, you have us. You need to die so that others can live. But why not the other way around? Why shouldn't we be the ones dying to save you? Well, I don't think she would like that either. Are you crazy? Why would you sacrifice your life for... That's exactly my point. Why should you have to give up your life just because you drew the short straw in the destiny stakes? How is that even right? It's that logic that's used to justify slavery. As if some of us were just meant to be sacrificed. Mm. This struggle was never about saving only ourselves. But that doesn't mean we have to give up our own lives to save everyone else's either. If we're doing this to protect people, if we're doing this to save the world from destruction, 
Then that has to include saving each other as well. Yeah. A world free of sacrifice. That's what you've been fighting for all along, isn't it? Not just me. We're in this together, remember? This fight is yours too, Xion. If we're going to win, everyone has to win. There can be no room for losers in this fight. Now I see it. The true nature of our struggle. A victory without losers. But that means that a Danon victory over Rena can't be the end. Do you think we can pull it off? We can certainly try. We can pull it off. We have to. It's the only hope we have of things ever changing. Yeah, you're right. No one's ever changed the future without aiming for the stars. We can do this together. Are you gonna touch? No. Damn it. All right, cute. Let's go find everyone else. Uh, uh, Rinwell and Law together. Oh my god. What could they possibly be talking about? Hey, Alpin, listen to this. So Law and I were just talking and... Hey, shut up! Mm -hmm. What's got Law all flustered? Only that he's afraid of flying, the big baby. Ha uh ha. -huh. all that fuss he made about naming the ship, too. Hey, I never said I was scared. I just think it's, you know, a little unsettling how we're going to be cruising through space in a glorified tin can. That's all. It's a starship, dummy. That's what it's supposed to do. I don't think there's anything strange about it. Mm. Well, maybe you're the one with the problem then. Yes. Guys, guys. I'm no expert, but I think we can trust Ren and technology. It got me to Dana in one piece, remember? Wumpy? Oh, that's a good point. If you think so, Alfin, it must be okay. Don't you agree, Law? Hard to argue with that, seeing how you hitched a ride in one of these things before, Alfin. It's just wrong, okay? Hmm. God meant for us to fly. He would have given us wings. Anyway, you guys want to play Dragonite 4? Just let me know. Thank you, Sarah. You okay? Feeling airsick? Actually, now that you mention it, not at all. These starships are a remarkably smooth ride, all things considered. Nothing like being at sea. I like the takeoff would be pretty rough. Glad to hear it. That device there caught your eye, huh? I was just wondering what it is. It looks that big enough is to probably fit where Alpen was. It's a healing pot. It fixes injuries and illnesses. Oh, you don't say. Well, that should definitely come in handy if any of us get injured while we're down there. <sighs> Alfin? Was it something I said? No, I... Uh, I was just thinking back to when I escaped Lenigus, that's all. What with the ceremony and losing control, I was a total mess. Nayori laid me inside here. So, you're saying you got in this thing straight after escaping? But that mean... You were inside for 300 years? Yeah. It, is, it sounds crazy, I know. But don't even ask me why I stayed asleep all that time. EP boy. That's definitely quite some lion, all right. Sometimes you just lay down and but wake still, up 300 years later. Whether you meant to or not, I sure am glad that it's this century that you finally woke up in. What do you mean? With the amount of fighting we've done, we would have never made it this far without you. And not only that, but... Alfin, can you recall back to what it is that I said to you? Back when we left Menencia? About the dream of coexistence and needing to learn what it entailed? Of course. That's why you came with us, right? To learn what you couldn't at home. Even in that time, I was well aware that what I was living was a lie. But at the same time, I also felt really compelled to fulfill my brother's wishes. I'll always remember him fondly. But the coexistence we're fighting for isn't for him. It's for people now. And those still to come. Mm -hmm. The world's bigger than just men and Sia. My dream is for all Danans, yeah. wherever they might be, to be free. If I've learned anything on this journey, it's that. And the one... Who brought me along was you, Alfin. 
I'll forever be grateful to you. Well, we're not out of this forest just yet. You should probably save your thanks. At least, until we've dealt with the Red Woman. I know. The bitch in the red but dress. Fine when we get down there, I'm through looking the other way. Isora. Probably getting a little ahead of myself, huh? Let's take things one step at a time. Cool. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, what is this? Hmm. Dohalim. Is everyone about ready? We'll soon be making preparations to land. Before we do oh, that, shit. Just what exactly We're almost there. Expect when we get down there. The moon. Kisara has a point. Now that I think of it, I don't know the first thing about Lanigus. I'd like to hear there. more too. It's been centuries since I was last there, and they didn't exactly give me the grand tour. Very well. First and foremost, Lanigus is was the base of operations in charge of the crown contest on Dana. Of course, it also happens to be a city in its own right, complete with its own independent society. Its social structure mm -hmm. is based on a strict hierarchy. Put simply, the strength of an individual's astral arts carries great uh, weight. A magitocracy? Or something like that? Enough to determine someone's social rank, you mean? But astral arts are innate, right? So people's positions are fixed at birth. They can be honed with the right training, and there are admittedly other factors at play. But yes, that's basically the gist. Uh, like the Saiyans. Result, family lines that churn out lords and their contenders wield disproportionate influence, and those lineages are treated as nobility. Those capable of only weak astral arts are effectively an underclass, denied the right to descend to Dana even if they wanted to. Still... Even the lowest rung on the Renan ladder is considered superior to being a Danon. Keep that in mind down there. Thanks for the warning. As a lord, Dohalim must have been pretty high up in the pecking order, right? What about you, Xion? Come on, you've seen her skill with astral arts. You really need to ask? <laughs> Fair point. On arts alone, you're right. I'd have been sitting pretty. But you're forgetting my thorns. Mm -hmm. They weren't exactly an invitation to high society. Forgetting that she was like an experiment for these people. <sighs> Sorry. No, it's fine. It's refreshing to be around someone who says what they're thinking. Life's less complicated that way. Yeah. Jeez, give backhanded compliments. <laughs> much? Wait a second. Are you? He is. Lost blood. Got him. I am not. <laughs> Of course, separating people into castes based on something arbitrary like arts is discrimination at its worst. As if such simplistic criteria could ever be a measure of someone's worth. Mm. So this red woman, are we expecting to find her on Lenegas? I would wager so. Lenegas is too deeply involved in to discard the possibility. Chances are she's also connected to the Renis Alma being stolen from us in Pelegian. If the Renis Alma is being used to exploit Dana, we need to take it back at all costs. And maybe even break it. Well, wow. just as well, I've got a ton of questions. We'll see. Ah, we're about to land. The descent could be a little bumpy, so brace yourselves. If there are clues about your thorns out there, Shion, we'll find. Are they, I hope they're not gonna like shoot us down for being an unidentified ship. no one here i wasn't expecting a welcome mat but still lenigus's infrastructure is largely automated besides people won't be expecting incoming traffic while the crown contest is still underway fair enough i'm assuming this is probably the first time anything like this has ever happened we may not have received a royal welcome but i doubt our entrance went unnoticed don't let your guard down I really hope we don't have to fight anybody while we're here. We will. 
So now what? We've come all this way on a hunch that this red woman is here, right? Mm. And if we're lucky, the Ren is Alma too. Any idea where we should start looking? There is an area of the city that is accessible only to the sovereigns, known as the Forbidden Zone. That seems as good a place as any for us to start. Makes sense to me. Forbidden? What are they hiding? I don't know. Hence my desire to find out. Fortunately, we just so happen to have a sovereign in our midst. How convenient. In any case, changing the shape of a huge structure such as Lenigus would have required an immense source of power. Hmm, true. Then you think that source might have been the Renis Alma? Mayhaps. Precisely. Alfin said that he remembered the Renis Alma being used in the spirit channeling ceremony three centuries ago. Whatever the ceremony's purpose, if preparations are underway for it to be held once more, then the Renis Alma might be in the same place as last time, possibly together with the Red Woman. So we're hiding something of that worth in the residential quarters would only cause trouble. See if the reason that. Case, the that one cutscene showed multiple of her is just because it's her power or if there's more to it. Is that it? Indeed. Like is it a shadow clone thing or But it's been over three hundred years since I was made a sovereign. You can't seriously think I'll be able to waltz right into the place after all this time. There's only one way to find out. If there's even a chance you can get us in, I say we give it a shot. Shion's right. Who knows? We might even find a clue to her thorns while we're at it. All right. It's not like we're swimming in leads, so let's try to track down the Forbidden Zone. Cool. Beyond that wall lies a city full of Renans. Let's go. Oh. To live, no less. Who knows what we'll find on the other side? Bring on through to the, the other side. Here is giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> the heebie-jeebies. You sure can be a worry word at times. Oh, I'm sorry. How stupid of me for wanting us to stay safe. Would you two children stop squabbling? Hmm. Or do you want everyone to know we're here? <clears throat> Just kiss already. So how many Renans actually live in this place? I couldn't tell you exactly, though not as many as you might expect. Machines and Zoogles take care of most of the city's basic functions. There are Zoogles out here too, huh? Sounds like we can't afford to let our guard down after all. Gotta fight something. Uh, okay. Let's -a go. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, uh, that's probably bad. Oh, come on, kid. You gotta jump so we can catch you. Guys, yeah, just standing around, thinking very hard about how everything's on fire. Oh, looks like someone already fucked this place up before we even got here. But who could it have been? What in the world? This being Renan territory, I was prepared for a lot of things to look different. But this? This is a bit more than I anticipated. The very foundations of the city have shifted. Hmm. What could have caused this? Is this because of, uh... When Lenigus changed shape, yeah. it must have had an effect on the interior, too. Maybe when they sent the wedge down to Dana? But they wouldn't move around the places where people live. These are their homes, Or maybe right? they would. I would think the citizens themselves didn't have much say in the matter. Either way, locating the Forbidden Zone just became that much trickier. Dolhalim? Is that you? Uh-oh. Hi. Avakir, I'm glad to see you're well. So it is you! But why are you here? Shouldn't you be down on Dana participating in the crown contest? 
and these people. So you haven't heard what happened on Dana then? Heard what? Someone you know? That shit's long hey, over. Hey, Dohalim, don't tell me you've started keeping company with. They're with me. More importantly, what's happened here? Uh, I'm really not sure. The city's foundations began to shift without warning, and now everything looks like this. We're all waiting for the Sovereign to tell us what's happening, but so far... Avakir, listen to me. We're looking for the Forbidden Zone. Do you have any idea where we might find it? The Forbidden Zone? What business could you possibly have there? <laughs> That's forbidden. Trust me. The less you know, the better. <sighs> You're just the same as ever. <laughs> I wish I could help, but what with the changed topography, I can barely locate my own home. Let alone the Forbidden Zone. Very well. It looks like we'll have to find the way there ourselves. Banished to the have Forbidden Zone. Have you seen yet? No. I see. Well, nothing much has changed with her. If anything, she's probably even more... I can well imagine. Why did you come back? You know it can only result in pain for you both. What? Well, no that. You really are the same as ever. Fine, I understand. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Emotional and baggage. Take care of yourself. Okay, Doe? Doe. What a nickname. Doe. So who's Faria? La. Don't. <laughs> if what Avakir said is true, it would seem the people of Lenegas are being kept in the dark about what's happening down on Dana. Seems like they it. seem to be just as clueless about what's going on up here in their own world. Despite the fact that it's actually here that the wedge originally came from. We need more information. Let's talk to the citizens, see what we can find out. Hmm. And while we're at it, we can ask them about the Red Woman too. And don't forget about finding the way to the Forbidden Zone, either. Let's right. leave the talking to Shion. We can't have a bunch of Danans poking their noses around. True. Good idea. I think that's for the best. I shall assist. You sure? Being a lord on Lenigus has its advantages. Right. Then we'll leave it to you two. Nice. The Danans among us should probably keep our heads down. What if people freak out? I shall explain it away by saying I'm leading you. What are we, dogs? I mean, as far as a lot of these people are concerned, yes. What could be so important? It's worth destroying people's livelihoods and homes in the process. It's just... unbelievable. Uprooting an entire city as if it were mere building blocks. Someone's got an awful lot of questions to answer. From how it looks. They must be siphoning off astral energy from Dana, and then sending it to Rena. But why do all this? What for? Surely they can't be using all that energy for the crown contest. Whatever their purpose, disrupting their siphoning process alone won't be sufficient. Not while we still don't know what their end game is. Yeah. He's right. We need to stop this from happening ever again. This forbidden zone might be where we find some answers, right? So what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. You heard him. We don't have time to stop and chat. Let's move. Yeah. Oh wait, we're stopping and chatting. So I've been wondering, do you think when Lenigus was built, it was even made with people living here in mind? What do you mean? Hmm. Well, good point. Well, this happened by coincidence, right? They must have designed it to transform like this. But then, if they knew people were going to live here, you'd think they would have taken that into consideration to avoid all this chaos. Chaos. Ordinarily, yes. You'd think so. Trust me, as far as we were concerned, Lenigus was our home, nothing more. No one knew about all this. It makes you wonder whether the city was just built on as an afterthought. But if so, to what exactly? Sorry. A big weapon. Weird, huh? <sighs> Not at all. Sometimes it takes an outsider's eye to help you notice what you've been missing all along. This place is a mystery, that's for sure. Something tells me we'll find answers where we're going, though. Yeah, 
You're right, Xion. I'm sure we will. <laughs> uh, hello, old man. Oh, dear me. What an unspeakable mess this has all become. Just look at the state of our city. Even the Zugals have stopped heeding oh, our commands. That sounds bad. Whatever did we do to deserve this? You really have no clue what might have caused this? Would that I have. Alas, there was no warning, no prior decree. His Highness must have deemed it unnecessary for us to know. Pretty fucked up. We have no choice but to grin and bear it. But do my eyes deceive me? Could I really be standing in the presence of his lordship, Dohalim of the House Ilkaris? I believed he was on Dana. Your eyes do not deceive you. It is I, one and the same. I have returned to fulfill a special duty, the details of which I cannot divulge. As your lordship wishes, first Lanagus mutates beyond recognition, now this unexpected visit, the Sovereign's plans are inscrutable indeed. I'm like the talking Ilkaris about the Sovereign like he's a god. Lords over the centuries. I shall be praying for your victory in the latest crown contest. Your good wishes do me an honor. All right, where's the next fucker? You. What do you know? Your lordship. Where is she? Oh, what a great honor it is to finally meet you. I descended to Dana during the last crown contest. Also, alas, when the contender I was backing failed to clinch the title, I returned. I witnessed the deaths of so many slaves. Indeed. Sorry to interrupt, but we're looking for a woman dressed all in red. Have you seen anyone of that description? All red, eh? No, I can't say I remember anyone like that. I imagine she'd stand out mm. somewhat too. Did seem capable of hiding yeah. herself from Renan's. What about down on Dana during the crown contest? You didn't see anyone like that hanging around the Lord you were serving? What's with all these questions? I've never seen her, okay? Not recently or otherwise. Why do you want to find her anyway? Don't worry about it. Never mind. Forget I asked. Sorry to take up your time. It's none of your business. Uh... You... Hello, lady. What do you know? Is everything okay? You look a little lost. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Boss? I can't seem to find my way home, is all. I was just about to make my umpteenth attempt at a new route. I was hoping to get this way myself. The situation is a real pain, huh? I suppose the Sovereign knows best. Does he? I daren't stay here too long, though. A lower caste can only linger around these parts for so long before I outstay my welcome. I was hoping to avoid it, but maybe I'll have to go that way after all. That way? You mean you know another way round? Lord Dohalin Ilkaris! But how? Last I heard, you were in Dana competing in the crown contest. Yes, strange, isn't it? If you know another route, we'd be grateful if you could tell us. But, but of course. Please forgive me. There's a wall that sprung up ahead of here. With what looks to be an entrance in it. Uh -huh. I, I thought maybe it was a passageway between the different quarters, but I've no way of knowing for sure. It's worth investigating, at least. I shall go and assess the situation. In the meantime, wait for me here. If it looks safe, I'll come and let you know. You'd really do that for me? A lord troubling himself for someone of my lowly status? Our lot in life is of little consequence. We are both Renan, first and foremost. Oh, why yes, my lord. Thank you. Classic Dohalim. Well, we canvassed the city for information. What do you think? No one has the faintest idea what's happened to the city after all. 
They haven't heard the news about the crown contest either. You'd think that info would easily find its way up here. Has it always been like that? Not to this extent. Which would indicate that something's suppressing the truth. That Lenicus is under some kind of control. Uh huh. Do you think to their city? The people here seem weirdly okay with it all. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah. That one guy even said his Zugal would stop listening to him. If that's true, these people are in big trouble. They've been conditioned to be pretty Everything docile. That here is attributed to the sovereign's will. It's the way people have been conditioned. Their belief runs deep. Uh, it reminds me a bit of some places we've been to before. To them, it's all part of the sovereign's grand plan. The sovereign's plan. There is one thing I'm still not sure about. Just who is this person ruling over Lenigus? The sovereign, of course. He rules from Rena while presiding over both Rena and Lenigus. Without the lords or anyone in the middle doing his dirty work? Isn't Rena at least the same size as Dana? That's a pretty big dominion for one person to rule over. I would have thought ruling Lenigus alone would be difficult enough. The points you make are valid. Though I confess I'd never given it much thought before. Here, the Sovereign's total authority is as natural as night turning to day. Come hmm. to think of it, I know nothing of the nature of how Rena itself is. <sighs> Shion, have you ever been... No, forgive me. Have you met or crossed paths with, or even heard of someone who's actually made a visit to the homeland? Hmm. No, I haven't. Neither have I. In which case, I would imagine that... But no, surely not. Can it really be that no citizen of Lenicus has ever been there? Hold up, what are you getting at, Dohalim? Assuming what I believe to be correct, it's possible that no one on Lenigus has ever laid eyes on the actual Renan homeworld itself. No one but the Sovereign, that is. Interesting. But what about trade and communication? There's got to be a flow back and forth, surely. Not if the Sovereign is imposing his will on Lenigus single-handedly. It could be a one-way street. But I thought you said that the Sovereign's all the way over on Rena. If that's the case, can he really rule directly over Lenigus from so far away? What if something were to happen to the city, like now? I'm beginning to wonder what the nature of this Sovereign even is. Alfin said he was forced into the role, right? Just before the ceremony. But Sovereign is also the title given to the Almighty Renin ruler. So which one is it? There are a lot of gosh dang questions. Contest ...inherits the throne from his or her predecessor before becoming ruler over all of Rena and Lenigus. Thereafter, that individual is known as the Sovereign. Though, it would appear that the current ruler has gone silent. Mm -hmm. As for how Volron factors into all this, at this point, I no longer know what to believe. Three centuries ago, I became the Sovereign here on Lenigus. No, not just became, I was forced to. Me, a Danon. Right. years later, we cross paths with Volron, who also bears the Sovereign's crest. That's not the only How did he get it? Common. We both became Sovereign without winning the crown contest. Right. Do you think Volron was made Sovereign for the same reason? Because of that ceremony? I can't say for sure. But it certainly sounds like it. I think we're gonna find out. But that would mean that two sovereigns would need to exist at any one time. One whose job it is to rule, and the other for ceremonial purposes. Mm -hmm. We never did see Volron's body back in Ganeth Heros. Is a new ceremony underway with Volron at its center this time? Could that be what's causing all this strange activity here? Wait a second. You don't think Volron and the Red Woman are working together, do you? Yes. The ceremony can't go forward without the Renis Alma. The same one that the Red Woman stole. There's something else the ceremony needs. A maiden. And unless there's another one out there aside from me. Questions, questions, and yet more questions. Ones that it seems will remain unanswered until we can establish the Sovereign's identity. If the Forbidden Zone really is off limits to everyone but the Sovereign, that seems as good a place as any to start. For the sake of liberating Dana, too. Then it's decided. That's where we need to go. One of the citizens mentioned a passage that she thought might lead to another section of the city. It could point us in the right direction. It's worth Let's a start. Alright. Off we go. Uh-oh. 
With nobody left to run the show, I wonder what the people here are supposed to do. I mean, they're sovereigns up on the Renin homeworld, and all their lords were sent to Dana. But Dohalim was a lord, right? Yeah. Only current acting lords have power. Renin society is quite strict about such matters. Makes sense. Even if the other lords were still around, I doubt they'd be able to do much about the situation. I wonder what they'd think if they were here to see Lenegas now. Uh, Balsif, that it's fucked Canabelt, up. Amadria, and Volron. I think Almadria would think it was funny, actually. She was kind of quick, right? Now that I think of it, aside from Dohalim, we know next to nothing about the other lords. Well, yeah, why would we? To us Danans, they were just enemies we needed to overthrow. Nothing more. I know. But seeing Renans in their own city, going about their day-to-day -day lives, it gets you thinking. It feels strange to imagine the Lords living here too, you mean? Yeah, a little. If you're that curious about them, why not try inquiring with some of the locals? Every Lord in their household has their share of supporters here on Lenigus. And luckily for us, the people here are unaware of the events on Dana, which means they should be more inclined to talk to us. Renans and their lords. Sure. Sounds like a side quest to me. I didn't realize Renans oppressed their own kind too. Oh yeah, it goes yeah, all the way up. Weirdly, none of them seem to mind. Am I the only one who finds that strange? All the way to the top, baby. The things have always been, so no one thinks to question it. You have experience in that regard yourself, do you not? Unquestioning acceptance of your own servitude. Yeah, that sounds about right. Even so, the quality of life here seems much higher than any Danon city we visited. I used to think it was impossible to build an ideal society without wealth. But I suppose having it doesn't always mean people are treated fairly. I think either. in some cases it guarantees that they're not. Point, not a single citizen seems to have even heard of the Red Woman. What if she's not here? What if it turns out we're looking in the wrong place entirely? Well, it's still too mm. early to say anything for sure. For all we know, she might be able to blend in, move around unnoticed. I say we hold off judgment until we. She could be anyone, even you. Everyone just attacks Renwell. Tell me, Dohalim, has that skill of yours got a name? Which one? And what skill would this be, pray tell? You know, when you're talking to people around town. The way they suddenly become putty Oh, your that's called having a high persuasion. I'm afraid I don't quite follow. That. I do. It's called friendly intimidation. Never mind. Look it's intimidation. A deep, booming voice and presto, you'll have people wrapped around your finger in no time. I would never stoop to such scandalous tricks. Any feelings of intimidation are solely in the eye of the beholder. So there is a knack to it. How do you learn it? Can anyone do it? Now you've got me curious. Is there special training to master? I think it's just something you're taught as you grow up as a lord. An with being elegant is a must. Oh, and it helps to be old-fashioned, too. Bonus points if you speak in a way no one can understand. If you've a bone to pick with me, it'd be quicker to just come out and say it. What? They look up to you, that's all. I'm just helping them along. Hmm. Hey! What's got into Alvin and Law all of a sudden? I can barely understand a word they're saying. And what's with the weird poses? Was it something they ate? Oh no. They're role playing. I willing to take the blame for this one. I wasn't expecting them to take me so seriously. I'll go and have a word with them. Silly silly boys. Okay, well. Off we go. Hmm. Residential zone four. As badly damaged as that other district we went through. Indeed, the effects of Lenigus's transformation appear to be less pronounced here. Or viewed another way, this area was simply luckier. Seems that way. Hmm. All right. Oh. Uh oh. There's something I just don't get. Uh -oh. What is it? The crown contest itself has always gone ahead as planned, right? In which case, the current sovereign of Rena should be whoever it was that won the previous contest. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. So, who was it then? 
Milgross, oh. the former lord of Cislodia, if memory serves. Oh. So then this Han freaked whatchamacallum, <laughs> he's the current ruler of Rena? Presumably. Well, heard, yes. Though admittedly, I haven't actually seen him since the end of the previous contest. You're saying that ever since becoming sovereign, he's never actually shown himself on Lenegus? I guess over Holocom, maybe, but not in the flesh. Same thing goes for the sovereign that came before him. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I don't recall anyone ever visiting Lenegus from the motherland, sovereign or otherwise. Sus. Suspicious. And that never struck you as a little bit odd? <sighs> when you live here, it's as if you're conditioned not to notice all these strange quirks and discrepancies. The question is then, by whom? And to what end? A new hmm. Renis Alma is supposedly created to coincide with every crown contest, meaning each victor is awarded their very own. In other words, if that's true, there should be as many of the things out there as there have been contests. Okay. True, but going on what we witnessed in Pelegian, it didn't look like the sort of thing that could be made to order. <laughs> but if even the victor's speeches have been part of some grand deception, then where are they? <sighs> Quite frankly, I don't know sure what to believe anymore. You and me both. Though we are Renan by blood, neither of us even knew that such a thing as a dark master core existed, remember? With any luck, the Forbidden Zone might give us some answers. No you stay here. about it then. Let's get a move on. Now, now. I really thought this area was going to be a lot more frightening. Do? And, huh? <clears throat> Uh oh. Faria. Faria. Oh. Emotional that baggage. That uh, shut up. Was... But why are you here? Wait. Don't tell me you've given up on the crown contest and come crawling back home from death. Crawling Darryl. back. Watch it, lady. Nothing to say. Even though you were willing to kill Tarnigan to secure your position as lord, you still kill. I'm here to take care of something. If you wish to continue this conversation, I only ask that you wait until I'm finished. Oh, of course. You always did prefer to take the coward's way out. Even after seven years and living on that Dan and Rock, you haven't changed. All right, bit. all right. But let me tell you. Don't be an I asshole. Changed either. Not a day's gone by the past seven years that I haven't hated you. Uh huh. If killing me will bring you peace. And so be it. <laughs> Don't Some believe. black rom what shit. The hell are you saying? First, I have business to take care of. If it's vengeance you seek, I will grant you it. But you must wait. My sins are legion. Let me finish what I came to do. Then you have my word. I will let you do whatever brings you peace. Hmm. Sure, that's it. Run away like always. You don't even have the courage to die. No wonder you leave it to someone else. Okay, lady. Why well, she gotta be killer. like that? Uh oh. Uh oh. That's bad. Dohalim. I apologize that you had to witness that. Is it true? What she said about you killing someone? Each of us have our pasts. I am no exception. Before, back in Menencia, you mentioned having taken a friend's life over the throne. Is that what she meant? The mistakes I made there were not my first and may not be my last. I will say no more. Did you mean what you said? About letting her take your life if she wanted to? She has more right to my life than anyone. But you can't just... Whatever happens, I have sworn to put an end to the crown contest and to ensure continued coexistence in Menencia. I have no intention of expiring before I do so. There are far too many questions I still seek answers to. Besides, you have just as much reason to kill me as she does. <laughs> Dohalim! 
forgive me. Some things are best left unsaid. Or you gotta... And drop the if I die, I die type shit. All right, we're trying to save the world and then also this world too, I guess. And maybe Rena as well. We got shit going on, all right, my guy. Can't have you fucking letting some random lady we don't even know kill you for something you did seven years ago. He's not in the Sigma grind set, you're so right. He's acting like kind of a beta right now. Tofu, yummy. Uh, oh. What is over here? This music is like a little feels a little too epic for an area with literally no fighting. Wow, this place is beautiful. Yeah, it must be some sort of rest and leisure area for the locals. You think? Man, these Renin sure know how to live it up, don't they? Party. It, is something the matter, Dohalim? Yes. Before I went down to Dana, my friends and I, we... We used to gather at this very spot and play music together. Avakir, Faria, and Tarnigan. <laughs> that was a lifetime ago now. Tarnigan. He was the one that Faria mentioned, right? He was once my dearest, closest friend. <sighs> as well as Faria's betrothed. <laughs> Despite Faria's lower class upbringing, she possesses a tremendous talent for music. Entranced by her playing, I helped her overcome her sense of inferiority and introduced her to Tarnigan and Avakir. It was a time of great joy. Maybe he played the cello. People bound only by their love of music. Except, no, he definitely... No for social standing. Only the next song, the next melody. A violin quartet. A friendship based on mutual respect, and a society where everyone is a prisoner to their social class. You really are different, Dohalim. I suppose it's natural you would see it as strange. Mm -hmm. I would have, once. Now, I think the idea of breaking away from society's constraints and choosing your friends based solely on affection is something beautiful that's worth cherishing. Yeah! Besides, it was that way of looking at the world that laid the foundations for coexistence in Menencia. Taru. Your praise does me too great an honor. I was merely following the wishes yeah. of my own heart. That's fair. And even then, it only lasted until the crown contest began. After that, Tarnigan mm. and I became fierce competitors for the position of Lord. Tarnigan had fallen for Faria. By becoming Lord, he aimed to wrest her from her humble origins and raise her to the highest echelons of society. Mm, I see. But fate was not so benevolent. What happened? Tarnigan was no match for me in combat. On a level playing field, he wouldn't have stood a chance. But he was desperate and low on options, and he couldn't stand the thought of defeat. You mean he resorted to dirty tactics to try to win, right? But then why does Faria think... Wait, don't tell me she doesn't know. Mm. How could I tell her? Combined with the trauma of losing her beloved, and by her friend's hand, no less. She would have been devastated. So instead, you let her go on hating you, so she could use that hate as a crutch for her grief? Don't sound like a healthy way to cope. That's not the same as running away, though. It is exactly the same. Unable to face the loss of my friend and the burden of my duty, instead I decried my fate and looked away from what I'd done. As for what happened after, 
Or that you already know. But if you hadn't become Lord, Menencia wouldn't be what it is now. The Danans there would still be suffering under Renan oppression like before. Listen, man, we've all done fucked up shit in the past. Shion's right. What other lord would have treated me as you did? Anyone else and I would have been dead long ago. You've saved so many people, Dohalim. You saved me. It's thanks to you that I'm here today. So, try not to blame yourself. The burden you've placed on your own shoulders is too much for anyone to bear. Frank as always. But, I shall do my best to heed your advice. Do you think he'll be all right? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. He's got Kisara. It's important to have someone like that. I didn't realize how difficult it is just to be there for someone. Sometimes just knowing someone's on your side can be enough. And he knows, Xion. I promise he does. I hope you're right. Uh... Buddy boy's been watching us. Yeah. I never appreciated until recently just how much you were always there to support me. It goes both ways. You helped me keep going more times than I can count. Maybe, but I still wanted to say thank you. Oh, it was an end. Do we really need it though? There's been zero fighting. Anyway, I'm gonna take a pee break, uh, and then we'll keep running around looking for the Forbidden Zone, I suppose. If one of them randomly gets sniped by a dodgeball, that would be awesome. I would love it if one of these late game bosses just had like a silly weapon like a dodgeball or something. Anyway, we are me.
all righty. Let us continue. I see a medic and supply officer over there. If they know you're with me, they'll likely offer their assistance. Thank you. Where are we going now? Yeah, this way. Hmm. Uh, actually, oh. <laughs> cool. I was gonna say we should go back and see. Hey, V, what's up? If there's anything worth buying. Uh, sell? No, nothing special. Mega EP vibes, that's fair. Okay, we can buy a diamond wumpy or Shion. If I sell her old one, we still don't have enough to buy a new one. Uh, so that's all we got. But I hope you slept well. Also a red lady. Lenigus soldiers. Who's evil. That all depends on them. Whatever happens, be ready. Yeah. It'll be fine. No, it won't. They immediately attack us. Oh god. Have they been brainwashed too? Yes. If they want to fight, they got one. Oh fuck, there's too many guys for me to charge. Got him. Whoa. Got him. Bitch ass mofo. Coming through. Scarlet Inferno. Benediction light. Locked and loaded. Glacial spear. Here's evil. Lightning on. Bow, bow. Yeah. Oh, we're just kicking these guys' asses. I missed. Oh, come here. Don't let him go. Yeah. Wrecked. Those soldiers seem different from the citizens we've come across so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they weren't big talkers, that's for sure. They just attacked without warning. They weren't in the least bit phased by Dohalim's presence either. Indeed, they seem to recognize us as enemies, nothing more. So and yet, traditionally, Lenny hasn't been high on threats. A few frenzied zoogles during experiments here and there, but not much else. Their glazed over eyes reminded me of the soldiers and slaves we met back in Ganeth Haros. The ones in blind devotion to Voron. I've never seen anything like that here on Lenigus before. Maybe someone doesn't want us here, and the soldiers are their way of life. I us blame the Red Lady. The Red Woman, the Sovereign, and Volron. They're starting to develop quite the growing list of adversaries. At least we'll know to keep our wits about us. Hmm. All right, onward we go. 
That is a large critter. Mm -hmm. Can I just jump the fence? Probably not. No. Oh, there's a pit. I didn't see that. Okay. Gotta go the long way. Now we're doing fighting stuff. Oh my god. That's a lot of poppers. Don't get careless. Time to go a hunting. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Got blasted. Oh. Die. Fuck you, nerd. Ow. <laughs> Good attack, name law. Oh, wrong thing. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. I missed. Look oh. sharp. Bam. Uh. Ooh, get them both, get them both, yes! Let's fucking go. Bam! Bitch! Double kill, let's go. Well, am I improving? Tremendously. The speed and precision of your aim is simply unmatched. Big boy. I had no idea you were watching me so closely. Uh oh. Die! Got a really bad about hey, get over here, fucker. Hey. Oh, stop shooting at me. Bam. Die, 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 die. How? Fucker. Nice. Get him. Slow down. And fire sword. Ha 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 ha. Oops. Forgot I was gonna do a different one. Uh, where are you? There you are. Ah, stop. Douchebag. No. Whoa. Ba 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 Law punch that bitch. Nice. Fire sword. Look sharp. Lightning tiger blade. Sweet. Upward. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Shortcake recipe. Oh, I totally did. Wait. No, I did not. Never mind. I lied. Uh, hello, big boy. Horse duster. Uh oh. Whoa! The Earth is the only thing throughout it, big boy! Oh, oh, watch it, buddy! Bow, bow. Ooh, wow. Oh, 
punch. Whoa, back up, back up. Shoot. And get around the side. Bop, bop, bop. Blaze my sword. Uh, they're all right next to each other. Fuck. Where's he at? Damn. Absolutely destroyed. Pineapple gel. Those soldiers don't seem to have any qualms about attacking on sight. Nope. They're kind of being dickbags. Stand guard over the forbidden zone. Probably. Hello, big man. Level forty-four, Force Mantis. Whoa. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Right in the face. Yeah. Yo, bitch, try me again, motherfucker. Oh, missed again. Up. Again, it's rushing again. Help! Whoa. Ah. Everybody just fucking go crazy. So close. Dead. 
wrecked and roasted. Let's go, boys. Uh oh, uh oh, get away, get away, get away, get away. I get better than anymore okay. I guess that's a good thing that he's quivering. Oh, I would like to not have to fight you all, but I'm gonna have to anyway. Oh god. Mm. Punch. Shit happening. Ow, ow, ow. Ouch. Where you at? 
One last motherfucker. Ma, punch him. Throw uh, him. Get him. Bow. All right, cool. We got this guy. He's fucked. Bam. Cool. My exploits are bearing fruit. Oh, give me a healing thingy, please. There's no healing thingy. Shoot. Well, off we go. Where are we now? This must be it. The entrance to the Forbidden Zone. Aha! We did it. But it's just a wall. How do we get through? Whoa, we. You just I gotta believe. Alvin. Activate sovereign power. Yay! The illusory wall is dispelled. Yes! It opened! Interesting. <laughs> it's a handsome secret room, room exactly. Way, it would seem the sovereign of three centuries ago and now are considered one and the same. Seems that way. What the fuck? What? What the Oh <sighs> Flashback. <clears throat> you again. Oh, rude. Tomorrow's the spirit channeling ceremony. We'll finally play our parts as the sovereign and maiden. How have you been feeling? What am I sovereign of? Shuffled from lab to lab, always treated like an experiment. Whenever they look at me, all they see is a Danon. I don't even know what their precious ceremony's for. Let alone what they're going to force me to do as the Sovereign. Tell me, if we're both in the same boat, why do you seem so calm right now? Why is the... No choice. Becoming the Maiden... Why is the quality of their voices so bad in this cutscene? They said Rena's prosperity depended on it. How could I say no after that? Still, as a Renan, at least you got to decide. Good for you. Meanwhile, I was taken from my homeland. You aren't the captive one here. It isn't right what they did to you, and I'm sorry for what it's worth. When this is over, I swear I'll help you get home. <laughs> yeah, this is how it, uh, I can't do this alone. That's how it sounded to Alfin. One more day. How could I say no to that? Everything just sounded it's really loud and any choice in the matter anyway. Like they were too close to their mics. So what's your name? It's Naori. Naori Imaris. Try to remember this time. No. You don't act like them. Like the other Renans, I mean. How come you treat me like a person? Because you are. It's true we come from different worlds. But neither one of us asked to be here right now. In that sense, you and I are much the same. We couldn't do this. We wouldn't be able to talk to each other as people. If we didn't see the humanity in each other. Humanity? Where? So I suppose the question you should be asking is, why wouldn't I treat you like one? Your vo not like the others. voice line just get higher quality Maybe all of a sudden. They're not like me. Bam, 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 bam. 
We give them their damn ceremony. Manatee restored. That'll be the end of it. I'm taking you at your word on this. I'm trusting you, not them. Nayori. Nayori. Thank Nayori. What the hell just happened? Flashback. Vision, did everyone else see it too? That person Alvin was speaking to. She looked exactly like she I don't know, I wouldn't say exactly. Nayori, I but... Isn't that right? <sighs> yeah, that's right. She really does look like Shion. I'm beginning to see why Alvin what the was fuck so just cute. happened. That's all very well and fine, <laughs> but what did we just witness exactly? It was too real to be a mere hallucination. It was a conversation we had 300 years ago. The night before the ceremony. You mean all of that really happened? We just saw an episode straight out of your past? Yeah. But how was that it's even a flashback. possible? It's Unless... A recap even. Could this be the Red Woman's handiwork too? No. Mm, probably not. So. Why not? You guys didn't feel it? The moment the entrance opened, it was like a stream of Dan and Astral energy rushing over mm. us. I felt it too. Not for the first time. I, I, I felt it. Yeah. It's the same sensation as back inside the wedge. That would make sense. After all, vast amounts of Dana's astral energy were being siphoned and sent up here to Lenigus. For all we know, perhaps we're close to the spot like where all that energy was stored. So you think it might have been the energy itself that was responsible for that vision we just saw? But how and why? Mm -hmm. We have no way of knowing. Maybe it's not even as deliberate as all that. Shion, you okay? Yeah, it was all just a little sudden, that's all. So that was my ancestor, huh? It was like looking into a mirror. Yeah, there certainly is a resemblance. What about you? How are you holding up? Me? Even putting aside the question of where that vision came from, it's likely we'll see more of those. Reliving painful episodes from your past. Do you think you can handle it? I can't just pretend like the past never happened. Mm. Besides, if it helps us uncover the truth of what that ceremony really was, it might also lead to answers about your thorns. Taru. That's not all. This whole time, we've been fighting to free Dana from the Renans. But now that we're here, it seems those same Renans might have it just We're as not bad. so different, you and I. I'd like to liberate them too, if I can. Which is just another reason I can't afford to shield my eyes from the truth. Whether you're on Dana or somewhere else, you always stay the same. Your indignation and righteous passion, your desire to free and protect, they're all hardwired into you. Seems Not like that it. I'm complaining. Come on, let's bust this thing wide open. Yeah. Nobody's here. Stay sharp. After that last illusion, mm. there's no telling what could happen in here. Well, considering there's a healing thingy and a star, probably something bad. Like a boss fight, even. But who are we going to be fighting? Is it going to be that lady? That silly rabbit tail you've been wearing since I met you. <laughs> uh, silly. Oh, it is her. But now she's like evil, probably because of the red woman. Yeah, she's got a. Faria, how did you get in here? Wait. She's got a mind blank look in her eyes. What's wrong with her? She doesn't even seem to know where she is. Yeah, you're right. She looks just like the soldiers we encountered outside. Ruh ro raggy. Ah, is that? That's the dark core. That's bad. Probably. Oh, we'll be fine. We'll just kill her. Uh, what are you doing? What the fuck is that? Uh-oh. I think she just summoned a, uh, a monster. With a... A summoning? Crystal hat? But that's preposterous. She never had that kind of power when... We can talk later. Here it comes! Oh boy! Tormented limbs. What? Sick. I've never known 
Wow, wow, watch it, buddy. Ow. From the red lady. she would stop that yeah we are uh, ah not the laser is he doing the laser again he is yeah well at least it's predictable ish cool mm -hmm. go Ah, uh, dude. Just save Rinwell's thing up. Oh, no, bitch. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Get him, Rinwell. We'll be fine. Hmm. Oh. What are you swinging at, sir? It's like trapped on the wall there. Oh, he's turning around. Damn it, he figured it out. Ah. Okay. Bam. Ooh. It's no use. Oh, God is core. Whoa. Okay. Gotcha. What's he doing now? He's charging again. All right, just dodge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, he's going purple mode. Uh, yeah, me too. Meow. Uh oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop whatever you're doing. Ow, teleport. Helicopter. Stay away, sir. This quarterback is. 
Oh no, he knocked a ponytail right off of me. How could he? Uh, I really had that in there. I mean, on there. What? Oh. Ooh, we stopped him. Beat him without using any orange shells. Or I guess pineapple gels, because we don't have any orange shells. So close, come on. Yeah. Get fucking wrecked. Wrecked ass bitch. Hey. Hey lady, wake up. Step out of it. Can you hear me? Hey, 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 put that down. Uh, the art she's casting is way too powerful to control. At this rate, somebody knock it out of her hand. Just, just, more. just swat it like a cat. Go. Bam! There you go. Fucking target practice. Oh man! Right in the solar plex. Dodge ball. <laughs> you can dodge a bullet. You can dodge a ball. Man, I thought we were goners. Yeah. Everything okay? Yes. She's only unconscious. Not her. I meant you. Shion, please. Can you treat her? <laughs> I can try, but I can't promise she'll be back to her real self when she wakes up. That's All true. I can do is heal her physically. <clears throat> We're not even supposed to be in here. Maybe it'd be better if we moved her to somewhere a little safer. Backtrack all the way just to help her out? I don't case. know. I'll take her off your hands. <sighs> You, Avakir. It, wow, Avakir he really just followed here. us all the way I here. What you were up to, so I took the liberty of following you to find out. I overheard what you said about Tarnigan, about how he really died. I'm sorry, I had no idea. And you believed me? What makes you so sure I wasn't lying? I that is true, because we're basically that, so killing everything along the way. Give me some credit. <laughs> I'll take Faria. Leave her with me. I know better than to ask what you're up to, but whatever it is, I hope it all works out. Thanks, glasses. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there wasn't a lot of room to squeeze past most of those fights, to be fair. I really wanted you to have to, like, he fight your way like through. Friend. He hasn't changed. He never was one to stand out. Instead, he was always hanging back, worrying about everyone else. As for Faria... It's always the closest to me who get hurt. You don't seriously blame yourself for what happened to her, do you? Somebody got to her, strike mm -hmm. back at me. Someone who knew me well enough to know that I'd hesitate to fight back. Red woman. And the same goes for you as well. Neither you nor Faria would have lost loved ones if it wasn't for me. You're wrong. Kelzalik was the one who killed my brother under orders from Almadria. As for Tarnigan, 
If it weren't for the crown contest, he'd still be alive. That and the whole damn hierarchy that makes it possible. But that's why we're fighting. To put an end to this whole messed up system that treats people as expendable. Indeed. Reading society of this blight is really the only way I know how to atone for my sins. You can't atone, Dohalim. <laughs> I know it hurts to hear, but those people are dead. No amount of soul searching or trying to make amends is going to change that. You got a point. Forgiveness, acceptance, those ships have sailed. So I just forget the harm I caused? No, the opposite, in fact. You remember. You never forget. You keep it in your heart always. And then you go on living. Not for those already passed, but for those still alive. For those still alive. Kisara's right. So long as we've still got breath in our bodies, we can make a difference in the lives of others. Lives being the operative word. <laughs> That's what living's all about. Being able to still make a difference. Punishing yourself for the past won't make the pain of your conscience go away. Only fixing the problem in its stead. Is that what you're saying? That's right. You have to live for tomorrow, Dohalim, not for yesterday. And not only that, you need to live for yourself and for the change that you still can be. <sighs> I shall try. Don't forget, we've still got a mystery to solve. The Forbidden <laughs> Zone, remember? Cheekies, gang. <laughs> Huh? We've got a mystery on our hands. You have my deepest gratitude for what you did for Faria. Glad to be of service. I'm glad we could stop Faria <laughs> without hurting her. You all did much for her as well. I'm most grateful. Oh, shucks. We're on the same team, right? Let's move on. Mm hmm. No. Hidden thingies. It's not. All right. Oh, shit, wait. I hope I didn't miss out on that skit. Mm hmm What is it, Rinwell? Do you hear something again? Yeah. Mm hmm It's that voice. The will of Dana's astral energy. Mm hmm Whoa. Another flashback. Oh, what the fuck is this? Is this a ceremony? Wait, this is like the fucking wedge. Mm. But I assume it's a different one. But where's it all coming from? It's almost like it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Uh oh. Ow! The Sharing Gun is activating. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's probably bad. What? Whoa. Uh. Glockcore. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Well, I guess. I'm starting to learn about the origin of the thorns. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, and that was when Alphen went sicko mode and killed everybody. Lovely. was the spirit channeling ceremony just now. No, 
It was more than that. What the hell was that? It felt like everything was on the brink of... Like the whole world was seconds from... Oblivion. It's the same vision as the one my thorns show me. A vision of impenetrable darkness that swallows up us and everything else. An empty void. A nothing so complete and dominating that there aren't even words to describe it. The end of time. The visions of the apocalypse you've been seeing. If I'd known how bad they were, I... So, everything we just saw, those were Nayori's memories, right? Mm, that's right. It was as if her innermost thoughts were speaking directly to us. At least I know they weren't mine. That power flowing into her, it reminds me of Xion's thorns. If they're what's responsible for all these visions she's been having, then maybe... Maybe my thorns are made from that same astral energy? If that is the case, we just found the missing link between your thorns and what happened here three centuries ago. No, more than a link. Perhaps even the very heart of the matter. I've never felt astral energy so powerful. What was that? If it's the same energy your thorns are made of, it must be dark astral energy, right? And isn't that something only Renans have? Correct. Dark astral energy is possessed by Renans alone. <laughs> and when enough astral energy gathers together, it develops its own form of sentience. It's all coming together, so, baby. Maybe that complete oblivion is exactly what the Renan astral energy's will is wishing for. But why? I don't know. Will can be a pretty vague thing to nail down. It's more of a feeling. Just like the will of Dana. But the will of Dana is made up of astral energy too, right? And if that's what's been showing us these visions... I don't know, should we really be getting so involved with this thing? That's Dana's way too late for that. Oblivion. But you can't say that for sure. Cut it out, you two. Squabbling over theories will get us nowhere. <sighs> Don't you understand? It's just a theory. Let's keep moving. A game theory. If it's Dana's will showing us these memories, then I'm as clueless about its motives as any one of us. But if it could lead us to the truth, then I want to find out more. Word. Shion's right. All we can do is keep going. If these really are Naori's memories we're watching, there could be truths in them I was never aware of. For real, for real. And I think they may be the kinds of truths I need to confront if we're going to keep fighting. Mm. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. Come on, let's go. F Do you think Faria was really being controlled by someone? Certainly seemed that way. The question is, who? The Red Woman? That's what it seemed like. The same person who's behind all of this, I'll bet. Whoever that is, brainwashed or otherwise, the feelings of resentment she holds towards me are real. Someone used her because they knew we'd hold back. If that's not playing dirty, I don't know what is. It does tell us one thing, at least. Someone here in Lenegas is watching us. Someone who means us harm. There's no question. That attack was meant for us alone. By someone capable of getting inside a person and manipulating them like a weapon. We need to find whoever it is, fast. Seeing visions. That vision we saw. It was as if it was meant specifically for us. What do you make of it? Do you still think the will of Dana might be involved somehow? Maybe I feel the quite the same afro, what? considering well, that... We've got this area and then one more you know, and that's like it. Dead people, messages from beyond the grave, ghost type stuff. The ghost type? Your grand theory that we're being haunted. Come on, Law. Wait, <laughs> he might be closer to the mark than you think. What if a person's thoughts and deeds were to somehow become indelibly etched into the ether of a place? That makes and enough sense to me. Connection could then somehow pick up on them. You think that's what it was? 
some kind of message someone left here for <laughs> is this for no. entertaining the possibility no no silence Dana's will or somehow connected to the sovereign and you will speak of no such thing in my abode okay back up a sec you're saying that if a place is full of enough astral energy it can somehow show us events that happened centuries ago more to the point how does that much astral energy gather in one place anyway seems unlikely it happened naturally Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. Years. Whoever left it for us, the strength of their intent is beyond doubt. The strength of their intent. <sighs> All right. Onward. Hmm. Yep. I have to be ready to face anything. Whatever happens. We got this. The only way is forward. I'm determined to save Shion and Dana. Nothing I learn can change that. Hmm. They're not gonna give me a healing circle. Of course they're not. And to the teleporter. Uh, says that that's the thingy. There's no way we can just go in. I'm sure it's blocked off. Hold up, you guys. Whoop, what wait, never mind. That I was wrong. That room over there. I'm curious what we'll find. That's the room you <laughs> in your past, right? It's the place. Sure. We can check it out. Oh. From our very this first flashback. Looks like some kind of research facility. Oh my God! That's the where they're keeping Experiment Six Two Six. Why am I past being surprised at this point? Looks pretty deserted. It's the Lean and Stitch Dark Ride. Check it out. Or, it I, is it a dark need. ride? It's not really a ride. It was dark though. For the people of Lenigus. The Forbidden Zone is the stuff of dreams. Yet here I am, standing within its hallowed halls. It's off limits even for lords, then? Talk about an yeah. exclusive club. Being exclusive is one thing, but how many important facilities let in only the Sovereign? Doesn't that seem a little strange? A tad. Strange doesn't cover it. If it was only one room, maybe. But a place on this scale? How do they keep it from falling into ruin? Mm -hmm. Whoever the Sovereign is. They can't manage the upkeep <laughs> of this whole place themselves. Just Did fall Ron in here, just sweeping. Constantly no, wearing a maid remember. outfit. Then again, sovereigns and forbidden zones weren't exactly breakfast table conversations. The forbidden zone is a hallowed place, at one with the sovereign's authority, grounds of the one true ruler who presides over all Renans. Mm. That is what we believed this place to be. No. What we were made to believe it was. But now, it is finally time to discover this area's true purpose. And why it was kept hidden behind the scenes for so long. Indeed only do. Let's fuck with shit. Hmm. I think I can make this work. Go for it. Whoa. If we get to the real Twilight Town. Can you make head or tail of it? These are experiment records by the looks of it. Reams of them dating back hundreds of years. Let's see. Dohalim just types in sea salt ice cream. Capable of controlling Dan and astral energy so as to convert its molecular and elemental makeup. The creation of a governing central figure taking the form of a Danon. Codename Sovereign. Mm. Sovereign. Sovereign. That's a word we know. There's more. Research into utilizing force field crystals for the purpose of stable astral energy containment. Mm -hmm. 
That must be the master course. Heartless darkness and so Yeah. There's bound to be records here somewhere about the maiden and the lords, too. About the lords? Why would they be on there? Think about it. The lord's crests are clearly of a piece with those of both the sovereign and the maiden. Not to mention the fact that the contenders to the crown are selected from otherwise regular Renan citizens. Mm -hmm. In other words, it may be that all Renans are unwittingly being made subject to some kind of grand scheme. Seems like it. The sovereign? Does it say anything else? Where do I start? All I've read so far is the headlines. There's so much here. To sift through all of it would require specialized... Wait, what is it? Did you find something? Rimbo, you read fast. With the title, Test Subjects, Sovereign. It's your call. Read it. There must be dozens of test subjects listed here. Hundreds even. All of them failures. Wait, I think I've found one that was successful. Go on. Test subject number 1273. Ethnicity, N.A. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Oh, very... Given name, Alfin. Descriptive. <laughs> Gender, N.A. Eye color, N.A. Hair color, N.A. Height, N.A. Weight, N.A. Alfin. It's fine, really. What about the others? Was I the only one? Mm. Test subject number 10105. Umbrella Astral Corp. Unique adjustment index generation NA. Given name Volron. Aha! Uh -huh. Volron? There he is. That means he's only sovereign because someone made him. Well, yeah. Too. I kind of figured, honestly. But now we know. He's the last one. In three centuries worth of records, you and Volron are that the is only two subjects. On what, the like a experiment less than one percent success rate? <laughs> I mean, if we assume that they but did one a year, the crown contest. Does this mean that none of them were ever crowned sovereign? Actually, you know, if we assume they only did one every seven years. Upon victory, the sovereign shall return to Rena. And rule over Rena and Lenigus combined. That's a 2.3% success rate. The outgoing monarch shall relinquish their post and live out the rest of their days on Rena. So we were told. But according to these records, there have only ever been two sovereigns, neither of whom had anything to do with the crown contest. It's all lies, including the part about the sovereign residing in Rena. The crown contest was never about deciding a new ruler. It must always have been devised for some other purpose. Wait, I think I did the math wrong. But even supposing that's true, someone must have been in charge for the past three centuries, right? If it wasn't the sovereign, then who was it? Crown contests have been held this whole time, in spite of the fact that there was already a sovereign, me. Meaning that for the past 300 years, Someone out there has to have been maintaining that lie. The same person I'm willing to bet is behind all this. The Red Woman? It's possible. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's the mastermind behind this scheme. She seems more like a second in command to me. She could be working for someone else. Someone back on the Renan homeworld. Also, I did the math wrong. If they made, did one every seven years, it's a 4.6 success rate. It's fair to say she's yeah. definitely involved somehow. But that's assuming they only did one every seven years. What about the data records? Is there no other information that could help us? Not that I can see. Just file upon file of experiment results. There's nothing here about who's behind all this, or what their endgame is, unfortunately. I've barely managed to scratch the surface, mind you. You won't be able to read through it all, but you're welcome to take a look through what you can while we're here. Imagine if there was just like a full I'll novel's worth of lore in this and you could just actually sit here and read it. It'd be crazy. So this is where Alfin became the sovereign. Mm-hmm. Oron as well. 
The significance of this location would suggest. Hey, it looks like the terminals in here turned on too. They sure did. They might contain valuable information. Only two sovereigns in over 300 years. Mm -hmm. So why has the experiment only succeeded twice in all this time? And if that's the case, why keep on doing it? Was there really no other way? Or could there be some other reason? <laughs> I had no idea, my guy. Uh, forgive me. Alfin. Uh, I'm fine. I'm just a little shaken, that's all. I knew what I was already. So it's not like it's a surprise or anything. But it's strange. I've got all this rage inside of me, but I don't even know who it's for. I'm scared that I'll put a face to it. Just to have someone to blame. If that were to Cage. happen, then I... No. <laughs> then we'd help you fight it. Before you ever got that far. <sighs> wouldn't we, everyone? Yeah. We wouldn't just sit by and watch you spiral out of control. That's right. No good can come from being consumed by hatred. If you ever start to lose your way, you can count on us to guide you back. To remind you where home is. And I would be happy to lend an attentive ear, should you ever have need. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I think I'll be okay now. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to stop here because I got to take a shower because I forgot to do laundry yesterday, so I didn't have any clean towels earlier. And then go eat and stuff. But, uh, yeah. We're pretty far in. Like, if we don't beat this game next stream, then it'll be on Sunday. I can sap out of a tree like a hair across. And we finally found out what Kingdom Hearts is. Uh, it's light. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> We're really right at the... Yeah, it does not... It it really felt like when we beat Voron, like we were at the halfway point, but it turns out that we were like three quarters of the way through. So, I don't know. We'll read all this fucking shit at the start of next stream and we'll see how much of it it actually explains. And then we'll go fight Red Lady, probably. Uh, cool. Alright. Bam. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do some music tomorrow. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do. I'll probably try to sit down for like 10 minutes before stream and try to come up with like a starting point. And either that or... I don't know. If I can't, well then we'll just wing it. Uh... Then... What are we gonna do? Uh, Friday we're gonna play more of this, Saturday we're gonna read some more Nintendo Power, and Sunday if we haven't beaten this, then we'll play this, and if we do beat it, uh, early Sunday, like it doesn't take the full stream, then we'll start, uh, Sam and Max at the road. So yeah, that is, uh, this week. I'm interested to see how this story wraps itself up. Uh, cool. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there's the raid message for anyone who wants to do that. Uh, BPR. Follow Ringo, my artiste. Very cool and epic. And I think today hmm, we shall go raid Te Epic Ito. So true. I think we'll go raid Bear again. Uh doing a co-working study and stream. Uh cool. That is it from me. Have a good day. Good night, whatever it is for you. And I'll see you next stream. Okay.